fuck you doing? Remember that name? Good pizza with three Z's, baby. Three Z's. What's up, fam? It's your boy, JP. Good pizza. Yo, check this out. This week, we got a very special guest, the homie Chris, a.k.a. The Mechanic. This fella grew up in Long Island, New York, stealing cars. This guy was like the Fast and the Furious NYC edition, which I can definitely relate to as I'm from Essex County, New Jersey. We steal cars, too. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this fella got into a lot of trouble with that life and then later on migrated to growing cannabis. And in a very short period of time, this fella has been putting out some serious heat. Killing it in New York City, got a buzz all across the country, working with Doja Pack, Rusty from Duke of Herb, working his gear, stays pheno hunting, stays in the garden, putting out fire. Very, very recommendable smoking batches, man. Check this brother's story out, man. Chris Mechanics NYC, good pizza, let's go. So yo, man, thanks for coming through, bro. It's nice to have you on the West Coast, my guy. Yeah, for real, man. I appreciate you having me here. Definitely, you know, bro. Getting the invite going. Uh, from when we met over at uh, what was yeah, it? where did we meet, bro? Square Park. Nah, we met at the I think it was at the the SOB event. Yeah, bro. The SOB event. Yeah, shout out to Kiss yeah. SOB. Yeah. That was a cool. That was a cool I event, bro. Yeah, I was like, oh, this dude look familiar. And I was like, oh, that's, that's good pizza. I remember you see my wife was with me and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's like, cool, man. Yeah, for sure. Yep, yep. And I said, we got to lock it in. Here we are, bro. Yeah. Uh, shit, a couple months later, man. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely excited to have the East Coast in the building. Um, Always excited to have the East Coast in the building. And then, sure. like, to learn your story. Um, I learned a little bit about your story last night, but I'm, I'm really excited to get it on the show, get it out to the people. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So before we dive into the weed and all that, let's take it back to the story behind the story. I love to learn about, like, what childhood was like. Uh, you grew up in Long Island, right? Yes, yeah, born and raised. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it, man. What was what was life as a shorty like with you, man? Out in Long Island. Uh, man, it was it was a rough life. I ain't gonna lie to you. you okay. Know what I'm saying? Talk, um, talk about it. Growing up, you know what I'm saying. With, you know, it's a Spanish heritage culture. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's rough when you know what I mean. Spanish heritage with, you know, family crossing the border, you know what I'm saying, trying to okay. start a new life over in America. And, sure. You know, I always make a better life for kids. Um, that's basically what my parents try to do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, bro. Um, it was rough for them at the beginning. You know, we was renting out small apartments. I was um, sharing rooms with my sister. You know what I'm saying? It was rough, but again, yeah. they would, you know, go to work nine to five, my mom, my dad. Yeah, bro. Um, but we would always manage. They would always find a way, you know what I'm saying? My mom, is, you know, my mom would always find a way. My dad would always find a way. You know, even even if we got you know a pair of kicks once a year, we still got a pair of kicks for first day of school. You know what I'm yep. saying? But you know, we didn't. We you know, I didn't get everything I wanted. I'll put it that way. Um, but they they still found a way to still even make our child childhood great. You know what I mean? That's even dope, with bro. the stuff that they were able to just even give us. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I come from that, bro. The one kicks. Yeah. 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 You know, I can relate, bro. That's yeah. rough. No so. doubt. Um, but other than that, man, like, um, I started off real young working, you know, with my dad, my dad would bring me up early. I say like, maybe like 14, he already started putting me to work. You oh, know, no so, shit. Nice, yeah. bro. And I ain't told like no bullshit labor. We was out, like my dad, he, uh, he's been in the wood, he's been in like carpenter game for a long time. So okay. he does wood flooring. And nice. um, so he like does all that sanding, the wood dust, and all that extra stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's a lot of work, break back and work too. Absolutely, you know bro. And um, he got me into it real early, real early. Okay. You know, he got me up to work, and you know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, look, listen, you want nice things, you know what I'm saying? You want to buy yourself the nice clothes, the nice shoes, get up and work. Come to work with me Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's just one day, I was getting a quick hundred bucks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was yeah. a lot of money for me at the time. So I said, like, all right, cool. So. Um, I started off real young working, working, bro. You know, still going to school. Um, I was an athlete as well. I was doing... Um, what were you doing? Lacrosse. Lacrosse? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Did a lot. I really liked lacrosse. Um, I got really, uh, really good at it. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Really good at it to where, like, I was, you know, playing even with, uh, gr like, grades higher than I was. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, with my, like in that same school district. So um, I had a few scholars come by and check me out. But then, you know, as we keep going in the story, that kind of crumbled and, you yeah. know, didn't get too far. No doubt. Um, you get caught up in the streets or some shit yeah, like that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Got caught up in the streets. What was your vibe in the streets? Like, what you, what you was on, bro? Um, I was, uh, 
I was going to lie, man. I like I like to have the nice things, you know. I like yeah. to have the nice finer things, you know. Um, I like to have the nice clothes, the fresh pair of shoes, you know. So I always like to, you know, stand out, pop out. That was yep. always me. Yep. Um, and you know, it's like again, like I said, going back, like as a kid, I didn't have that. You feel me? No so, doubt. so I, you know, I did whatever I could to get it, and. Um, my family, my parents actually ended up finally buying a house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. So that was a good thing. We ended up buying a house and um, moved up over there. And uh, I met a few cats on the block. You know, some older cats that were older than me. You know, they were smoking weed. They were doing, getting money, doing their thing. You feel me? Where at, bro? Uh, same Long Island. You know where, where, where Long Island you from? I'm from uh, Suffolk area. Okay. Specific area. So like Hempstead? Yeah. Nah, area? that's that's Nassau. I don't know. That's, that's Nassau. Nassau. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. So more in Suffolk, more towards like uh, Montauk. You know what I'm saying? Out east type. Got area. you, got you. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, they ended up getting the crib, and that was basically what changed my life. You know, a lot nice, in, in a lot of ways. Um. We basically. Uh, I got linked up with some cats on the block. Like I said, they were older than me. I was still playing lacrosse at the time, so I was still athletic. You know what I'm saying? I was yep. a good kid at the time. So I was, you know, I mean, I knew what weed was. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't too hooked on weed to where I was like I was smoking this shit every day. Right, right, right. Um, but mind you, I was smoking weed. I tried weed when I was like 12 years old. Okay. You know what I mean? So, um, but it just wasn't something that would like interest me too crazy at the time. Okay. Um, but then yeah, I got linked up with the crew. You know, with a few friends and whatever. You know. And, um, what age you at this time, bro? I was around, I was around 16, 17 now. Okay, got you. Yeah, and um, I was like in 11th grade at the time. And um, basically I was seeing the homie, you know what I'm saying? He had a nice little Lexus, the IS300 at the time. Oh. Fire-ass oh. Lexus, you know what I'm saying? With the pounding system in it. Some kick L sevens, you know what I'm saying? He was getting money, smoking weed. Like, he was chill. I'm like, damn, son, I'm trying to be like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so at a young age, you know, you know Kids get curious. We all get curious. You know what I'm saying? At, especially around that time, of, th that, that time of age. You know, so right. I was like, "Fuck it, let me just hang out with them and see what they doing." And shit, you know that ain't nothing good come behind that. We don't little fucking badasses. Yo, why did everybody have the fucking LS3, bro? Was it white? Tell me it was white. No, it was black. Okay, but yo, mad people had the white joint though. Yeah. Am, I, is it, am I bugging? In Jersey, I feel like everybody had the white LS, bro. That shit was. Yo. I didn't really like that one though. I didn't either, man. But everybody that long fucking nose had it, bro. And, like, the front, yeah, was yo. too big. I didn't really yo, like yo. it. Nah, go ahead though. <coughs> but, go ahead. Um, so, so the big homies, the big homies, putting you up on game. Yeah, basically was like, yo, know, this is what we doing. Like we we out here taking. Jacking GPSs, radios, and okay. you know what I'm saying? It's a little minimum shit. You know what I'm saying? At sure. the time, GPSs was popping. Everybody, oh, yeah. we didn't have a GPS, shit. the Tom Toms and shit. You feel me? Garmin's and shit. Yeah, yeah. so um, we was uh, basically, he told me, this is what I do, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this is, so I was like, put me on. Show me what you do. No doubt. Uh, my mom wasn't too happy with it. You know what I'm saying? But again, I'm a kid. I'm a boy at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm 16 years old. All I want to do is be out in the street hanging out. Yeah, bro. So... Whatever, I get into that, man. And then, you know, I got real deep into it. I got real deep into it um, to the point where, yeah, I was doing the GPSs. I was stealing radios and all that extra shit. Okay. And then, you know. Running cars. Yeah, you know, yep. greedy, greedy comes in. You always want more. Yeah. You know, always want more. And that greedy shit always gets you in trouble. Yeah, you know? every time. Every time. But, but you uh, selling shit to pawn shops and shit like that? Nah, I, had, I mean, I was a bit more more, bit more bit strategic with things like that. You know, I had my little guy, that, you know, black market. I'll say black market now because I guess we could use got, that term. Got it. Um, but yeah, he sure. was, <laughs> he was, you know, he was a street guy. He'll buy yeah. all this shit for a good price and he'll go and flip it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, wherever he got his people, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, whatever, well, I didn't care. That works. Um, so... I, you know, I mean, I had a few people for the radios, I had a few people for GPSs, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then going back to, like I said, with the greed, bro, you know, I wanted more. Mm -hmm. And the GPSs wasn't it, wasn't enough. I wanted more. So I nah. said, so, man, we taking the whole car. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that. We taking the whole car this time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then... um. So what you were stealing, like Hondas and shit? Like the I started shit off with stealing, Hondas, yeah. Like Snatch Bar type shit? So I got yeah. into the Honda scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got into the whole racing scene at that time. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, all right, now I'm out stealing cars. I'm getting money now. So, you know what I'm saying? We all building fast cars. We all got nice cars. So we want to build something fast. Be the, you don't have the fat, be the guy with the fastest car on the block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
I had a nice little 92 Honda Civic I was building at the time. It was a fully Let's built go. GSR Turbo Nitrous. It was fire. It was like 496. Whoa. Time out, bro. Do you you doing nitrous? I did nitrous. It was a hundred so you, dry shot nitrous. But what does that mean? Break that so down. So it's a dry. So there's two different. There's a wet shot and there's a dry shot. A wet shot and a dry shot. Wet Got shot it. and dry shot. Okay. The dry shot goes straight to the manifold, right into it. Just boom, right in. No, I'm not into the manifold. Well, it could go into the manifold. It's like a cold air shot. You get what I'm saying? It's like a okay. dry shot. It's like a shot of just nitrous. It's okay. just dry. Okay. Um, the wet ones they tend to basically put those in like uh the intercoolers. You get what I'm okay. saying? For like to boost up the turbo so you don't have like uh, boost lag and stuff like that. Okay. So when, it's a whole scientific shit behind no it. Doubt. But, no doubt. No um, doubt. I had a hundred dry shot. That shit, I ain't gonna lie to you, that scared the fuck out of me, bro. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that was wild shit. Mind you, because I had tuned. I had It was a. It was built by D-Built uh, from Midnight Auto at the time. You know, just some car talk now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it was good. built by D-Built, um, Midnight Auto. And then uh, it was tuned by Low Budget Tuning out in Queens in okay. New York. If and, you know, you know. Yeah, exactly. Okay, for sure. It sounds you know, like that. Know. I don't know, but I'm learning. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, we ended up tuning. I did was on 12 pounds of boost, and um, I have I got pistons, rods, the whole nine. I had the whole Ooh, the whole motor was fully good built. God, uh, transmission was built. Um, so basically, I had 496 on the wheel, front wheel, no nitrous though. I didn't want to. I didn't want to tune on the nitrous. I was scared I was gonna blow. I ain't gonna okay. lie. Um, so basically. Um, I had that was my baby. That was my girl. You know what I'm saying? I put Sounds a lot. Like, yeah. yeah. And um but basically going back to that, man, this whole stealing shit got me into some trouble. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it while I was doing it. I was making a lot of money. I was having a lot of fun. I was being, you know what I mean? Like I was just enjoying it, bro. But again, yeah, then being selfish, I could say, you know, because uh putting my mom through worries, you know what I'm saying? She knew what I was doing. You know what I'm oh, saying? Well. Yeah, she knew that she's seen me bring motors and rims, all that shit to the crib, you know what I'm okay, saying? Stashing you. the shit in the backyard. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. she knew what time it was, bro. She knew I'd go out late at night and come back in the morning because she knew I was out thiefing. You know oh what I'm shit. You yeah. was out there on some I was shit. out there. Like that was my job, bro. Like I Damn. that's what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Damn. bro. What what years was this? Like early two thousands? Two thousand ten? This is about two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. Oh nine, ten? Okay. Yeah. For sure. And then um this is a late yeah, late 2009s, 2000 yeah, and then um What's up guys? Just want to take a quick second to shout out my sponsors over at Grove Bags. Listen, Grove Bags are hands down the best way to store your cannabis. Forget jars, forget mylars. Nobody does it like Grove Bags. Listen, it's a six layer non-static bag. State of the art technology. It's going to keep your weed fresher for longer. It keeps your cannabis between 58 and 62% humidity at all times. The optimal humidity to store cannabis. It's going to increase your shelf life, help prevent mold, weight reduction. Hands down, it's the best product out there. We don't use anything but Grove Bags at Good Pizza. And especially if your product is in stores, we all know there's some shelf life issues at the stores. This is going to keep your product lasting longer on those shelves. So when your customer goes to try it, it's going to be fresh cannabis. Listen, if you want to store your cannabis the proper way, use Grove Bags. Use promo code PIZZA with three Z's. That's P-I-Z-Z-Z-A. Tell them Good Pizza sent you. The greedy shit came through, bro. The greedy shit came through. You know how that happens. You know, stealing five, six cars a night. I had a chop shot at that time in oh, Queens. Oh, word. Yeah, so I was just bringing him the cars, dropping them off. He's catching gotcha. me out. He'd Got give you. me a How whole much you list. get for a whip? It all depend on the car. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he'd give me a list. He'd be like, yo, I need this. I need this. Give me a list. Boom. This is the type of cars I need. And I'll go out there and get it. Damn. And I, I had a few plugs. You feel me? Like, I had a couple of friends that worked in Honda. I had a few friends that worked in Nissan and in BMW. So, they'd bring me all spare keys, bro. All spare oh, keys. Oh, shit. Yeah, they will bring me all the spare keys, and I'd buy them off. So, I had chains. Like, I had a key chain to just Nissan. I have keychains just for Toyotas, like, you know what I'm saying? I have for BMWs. If the BMWs were more complicated, I had to buy a, bi a bypass chip oh, because no the shit. BMWs come with the chips at that around the early 2000s. Yeah. So you couldn't start it without the key chip, the key fob. So I had okay. to buy a bypass kit. That was like a grand that it cost me. I bought it off some dude on Craigslist. It was some crazy no shit. shit. <laughs> oh, damn, it was bro. crazy, bro. And and you know with that, bro. Once I ended up getting that, me and my cold D, which was my best friend at the time, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, me and him, we was like blood brothers, bro. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he was the eyes on my back type shit. Yeah. And, uh, man, we was out there heavy, 
heavy, like, scoping. And mind you, during the daytime, I, I wasn't even going to school. I was working with my dad at sometimes, too. Yeah. So when I was out with my dad, my dad would be doing jobs in Long Island. You know what I'm saying? And I'm at, while we out doing jobs in Long Island, I'm scoping as we driving oh, everywhere we got to go. So it's like, oh, I see an IS300 or I see a BMW parked up. I'm marking this pin right here on my, on my phone. Or if not, I'm sending it to my code D. Like, yo, boom, this is the car we need. So we Whoa. know it's marked. Now we know when to come get it. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. whole nine. So, like, I'd use that to an advantage, like, everything like that, bro. And then, you know, even at night, like, i make a copy of my dad's truck, like his keys, mm -hmm. and I would deadass push this shit out the driveway in neutral, not even start it. Oh, shit. And then push the shit up the block and then start it up the block and be out. For real, bro. And I'd wow. be gone all night, man. Okay. All night. You ever caught you with the truck out? Thankfully, nah. Ooh. He never even knew I had a copy of the key till after I got arrested. I told him I got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you was in too deep, bro. Bro, I was in was heavily. In way deeper than we was in some I was God deep, damn. bro. I was deep. Like, you were a I was, professional car yeah, thief. Yeah, when, <laughs> so basically, now going into that, bro, going into that, um, that whole greedy shit, bro, I got caught up. You know, there was yeah. uh, there's a, there's a department, I guess, in Long Island or New York, they call it. It's uh, like a thief unit. It's like a... a, a Storm car unit? Yeah, storm yeah. car yeah, unit. Yeah, familiar. And, we got that in Jersey. And um, I remember he was fucking asshole because he, he fucking arrested me. But uh, his name was Detective Petro. 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 That dude would ride around in a black caddy Escalade, bro. Black, black the fuck out, man. You seen that man around you, you knew what time Ooh, it was. He was, he was on you, boy. Yeah, he was either going to pull up. He would literally pull up on you, bro, and check your VINs on your car. So mm. you got anything stolen or any parts, any fenders, anything stolen, you know what I'm saying? Like, he going to take your car right then and there. You feel me? Like, he didn't he didn't care. Like, that was, that was he was doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You ever seen New Jersey Drive? The movie? Nah. Oh, my God. Nah. Okay, so you're, you're a little younger than me. Probably could have missed it, blinked and missed it. But uh, yeah. it's our Boys in the Hood movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the Jersey hood flick and it's about the stolen car epidemic in That's jersey fire. you know what i'm saying yeah. yo you'd fucking love it bro i, I gotta can't watch it. yeah you could literally watch it on youtube bro oh for real yeah and it's a spike lee film like it's a real movie like you know what i mean yeah that's yeah. fine continue continue sorry so so um the cop shit reminded me of that because they had the <coughs> fucking cops in there for so yeah um shit, I lost so so though. that's my fault bro so so you're so this cop was known, Petro was known for getting off, like he'll yeah. run your VIN if he sees yeah, you type shit, shit, you know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, if you find any suspicious shit, whatever it is, he was run down on you, he didn't care, pop your hood, what more do you got? You Ooh. know what I'm saying, the whole nine, yeah. You gotta match them shits up. Yeah, you gotta have at least paperwork to whatever you got, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, I guess he got wind of me, you know what I'm saying? He got wind of me, Ooh. I guess, like I said, the greedy shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stealing too many cars, you know? Um, just patterns. Yeah, every night, dude. Every night. It wasn't even a pattern. It was every fucking night, Fuck. dude. Going six cars, man. I was getting paid, bro. He was God getting paid. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I, we wasn't getting crazy. Like I say, I bring him a little Civic. He was giving me fifteen hundred, twelve hundred dollars. Nice. Bro. But I bring him a little BMW. He give me twenty five hundred. You know, a little yeah. bit more, depending. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. At the time, it wasn't a lot. You know, it was a lot at the time. But for the cars that we was bringing him, it wasn't a lot. But again, it's a stolen car. Yeah. The fuck you really going? You know what I mean? I was good with it. I was eating. My man's was eating. We was chilling. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, like I said, the greedy shit, man. And uh, he started watching me, the detective. Ooh. Yeah, he was watching me, I'd say, for about three months. He, that's what he mentioned to me. I don't know. He probably more or who knows. Okay. Um, but uh, it all started with this... Uh, this one Honda Civic, I really wanted to steal this fucking Honda Civic. Bro. Okay. I really wanted this shit. Like, I really liked it. And not only that, the owner was real cocky. You know what I'm saying? Like, real cocky with his shit. And, you know, at the time I was young, I was reckless. So I didn't really give a fuck. Like, I didn't care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, I'm, if I wanted your car, I'm going to take that shit. It's my shit. Yeah. And um, he had this nice little hatchback at the time, a Civic hatchback with an LSV nitrous. That's actually where I got my nitrous kit from. <laughs> oh, compliments to this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because he actually had it sitting in the back of the fucking car, like brand new. Oh, no yeah, shit. With the receipts and everything. Ooh. So I could talk about this now because it's been over fucking 12, 10 years. Oh, yeah. Cool. We ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, he had this shit sitting in the trunk, ran along. Well, before I even get to that, man, I ended up uh, 
We ended up, we was in the, I was tracking that car for about a month. I would go every okay. night before I'd go out or whatever it is, I'd go check that car to see if he was slipping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And obviously there was always going to be that one day I was going to catch him slipping. And that day came and I caught him slipping. You were patient. Yeah. Wow. I wanted it. I really wanted that car. And um, uh, ended up getting it. And when I got it, he took the, the ECU out, which is like the computer of the car. Okay. So I ended up pushing the car down an alley. And I drove home. And I took the computer off of my car. And then I went and put it on that car. And then I started the car up. And I beat the fucking shit out of that car no driving shit. home, bro. I beat the balls out of that car. Yeah. Bro. Hell yeah, bro. I enjoyed the fuck out of it. And then again, man, I got home. I got I got around to the to to. I had, mind you, I didn't really have a strip a strip joint or none of that at the time because all all I was doing was bringing cars to the chop shop. But oh, I, I really I really wanted this car because I wanted a few parts to have. You know what I'm saying to finish my car. And um, ended up uh, getting the car over to a buddy's a buddy's crib. Uh, he gave me permission. I actually stripped a few cars there several times. Okay. <coughs> and um, he tells me, just wait till I get home. You know what I'm saying? He's like, wait till I get home, and uh, we'll get to work. We'll do what we got to do. And I was like, I me, mean, I was too, I was too eager. I wanted to get it done. I was like, I can't wait. I got my buyer. You know what I'm saying? Wants to come through and buy everything out. So I got to strip this car now. Yeah. He's like, just wait. Whatever. I was hard headed. As soon as I woke back up, you know, I went home, I took a nap, I went back. I go back with my Q, uh, my Code D, and we start stripping the car, stripping the fuck out of it. We took the motor out, took the seats out, took the rims out, everything, everything, suspension, the whole nine. And I have everything lined up in the backyard, bro, like from the motor all the way down to the seats. Mind you, still, though, I got the stripped car in the driveway, sitting in the driveway, stripped with a car cover over it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Again, being reckless, being stupid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I'm sitting there, and then I meet up with the, with the, my connect. That was, he would buy all, like, my Civic parts, like, all anything that to do with, like, Civics and shit like, shit like that. Yeah. He would buy all of that shit. So he was cashing me out heavy, bro. So I was going to get paid, you feel me, like a couple, like 10, 12 bands. At that time, wow. I was, I'm 17. I'm young. That's great. Yeah, man. I was young. It's good money for me. So um, I get there and whatever, and he pulls up. He's in the trailer. He's like, all right, bro, like rushing me. But it was a bit antsy. But I didn't put, like, again, I didn't put no mind to it. And uh, we get there, whatever. We in the back. We start talking business. He starts counting the cash. All of a sudden, I hear door close. I look at my cold D. And my co D, you know, he looks over the fence. He ain't seen nothing. He looks back at me and shakes his head. So I'm like, all right, we good. So we keep going and start counting the bread. All of a sudden, bro, niggas smack the fucking fence door down, bro. Smacked it with sticks up. Get the fuck on the floor. Ooh. Everybody, get the fuck on the floor. And I was like, oh, fuck, bro. And my co D looked at me, looked at me again. And then he was, like, trying to give me, like, a sign, like, do we run? Like, we out? My mom at the time I had my mom's car. I was supposed to be doing laundry, bro. I had the I had the bag of laundry in my mom's car. Mm. You feel me? So I had, you know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't leave. And my mom's car was there. I ain't gonna do that shit to my mom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I had to stay there. Off the rip, we all get on the floor. I'm obviously the first person he picks up, bro. You know? yeah. So he's been watching me. He already knew what time it was with me. So he picked me up off the floor. And he tells me straight, he's like, you want to tell me what's going on over here? And I'm like... I say I ain't gotta tell you shit, bro. You see what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, really right. has to say around here. And he said, "Oh, we got a smart ass around here." He said, "Oh, you want a free ride to jail?" You know what I'm saying? I said, "Shit, I ain't nothing new." Whatever. You know, at the time, then I go to look, bro. Yo, why the dude who I was making the sale with, bro? He just get up, wipe himself off. I saw that coming. Yep, I saw that coming. Wipe himself off, bro, and Damn. just jumped in his truck. Pew, gone, motherfucker, yep. bro. He said, I got something for you. I got a big fish for you. Well, he got caught with some shit earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that movie before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. From what I heard, he got caught with some shit earlier. He had to get one off. He set me up. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine. Oh, fuck and, it, bro. And then that was it, man. I sat up, man. I, I went in February 10th, 2012, and I came home the day after my birthday, October 29th, 2012. Okay. I came home right before Sandy. Hurricane right Sandy. Right before Hurricane time. Sandy. Ooh, I yeah. remember that. At that time, um, my, man, that was rough. You know, my first time going to jail, my first time dealing with the law. You was on the island? Yeah, I was on the island. Oof. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, my God. first offer was a three to five. No shit. Yeah, three to five. Mind you, I'm 17 years old, bro. You oh, know what I'm state. saying? I'm a young kid. I'm, I'm already, you know what I mean, stressed. My eyes. They ended up charging me for seven cars. No shit. And for the seven cars, they gave me two charges each. So that was one misdemeanor and one felony. So I had seven uh, felonies and seven misdemeanors. In total, I had 14 charges, bro. When I was going up to the judge, bro, the, all them fucking, um, the clerks and all them shit, they're like, damn, you had a whole book of charges, bro. They're like, you ain't going home tonight, boy. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I mean? And I was like, fuck. That's a hurt piece, bro. Yeah, I was hurt. I was hurting. You know what I'm saying? I was a young kid. I was hurt. I didn't expect to sit up. And then after that, hearing my first offer was three to five. You know what I'm saying? Three to five Ooh. years upstate. It's like, damn, bro. Ended up. So basically, I had to think fast. You know what I'm saying? I had some funds. I had a little bit of funds. Nothing crazy, but yeah. I had some funds. Um, I ended up basically telling my sister, like, yo, you need to just grab this funds and just get me a lawyer type shit. You know, and that's basically what she did. And the lawyer Smart basically, move. yeah, got me down. And got me down basically to a county bullet and f uh, five years of felony probation. Oh wow! Yeah, so Damn. I did. I did. The, I did the eight months. I basically it was a year, but out of the year I did the eight months, no and doubt. Then I came home on the five years of felony. But that was another trip, though. Oh. It didn't end there, bro. That shit did not end there. Five years. Yeah, it was. A, it, they called it like a setup trap, though, especially yeah. for weed smoke. Because I was smoking weed at the time. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was really heavy with the weed. Like I didn't. Even, I had to have a zip on me, no less. At the time, I was. Yeah. I was scheming. You feel me? I was smoking and just yeah. driving around. You know what I'm saying? Find the next lick type shit. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man. So I, you know, came home, said to myself, yeah, I ain't never stealing no more. I ain't stealing no cars no more. No doubt. But, you know, I was just a lie to myself. That's that, that's that jail mentality talking. Yeah. Shit, I was right back to it, man. Ooh. Yeah, I was right back to it. But this Ooh, time I wasn't getting man. too crazy. I was at the beaches. So we was at the beaches, you know what I'm saying? I was doing, like, credit cards at the time, stealing purses. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like doing shit like that just to get off real quick, quick, quick come ups. You feel me? Not Are you talking about out of cars and shit? You run, yeah, just running yeah, cars. running out. Yeah, exactly. So I was, you know what I mean? Doing that. Again, I was still being you know, hard headed, bro. Yeah. Still on probation. You know what I mean? Not listening. I had a kid at the time, too. You know what I'm saying? I was young. My first kid was, I was 17 years old. My oh, first shit. son was born. You know, okay. so I was, you know, and still being out there reckless. Like it didn't really change me too much. You know, don't get me wrong. Like I, I was still there for my son. You know what I'm saying? I support him and everything I yeah. needed to the whole yeah, night, yeah. but I just wasn't there physically. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. I was out just either chilling, I was out doing reckless shit, being stupid, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it, later in life, I realized it was a fuck up, but, you know, it's just, it, yeah. it, it took steps to get there for me to learn, to say, like, well, you know, you lived that life and it wasn't worth it, you know, for the kids. Um, but, yeah, after that, man, um, I kind of slowed down on the stealing because, again, I, you know, I started to realize with my son, you know, him having to go visit me was rough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it was tough. So I had to, like, slow that down. And um, from there, I ended up getting a job, dog. Okay. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I ended up getting a hey, job. Working a job. Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you, is this your first job? No, you nah, worked with Pops before. I was working with Pops. What you doing now, bro? So now I ended up getting in this pharmaceutical spot. Oh shit! Here you go stealing so pills. A, nah, nah, with you. nah. <laughs> I never really fucked with them pills like that. Nah, I'm fucking with you. But bro. Uh, uh, I was working at that pharmaceutical spot. I was at a, I was a mechanic, doing mechanical shit, fixing the machines and shit. Cause I, you oh, know what I'm saying? Okay. Cause I was dealing with mechanic stuff, yeah, so yeah. they gave me the opportunity, and um, I had just started, just got the job. Okay, and um. I was on a felt. I was on a. I was on a probation. You know, when you get the job, you get like a thirty or sixty day probation type shit. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, you can't miss a day. You were like, you can't be late or uh, oh, yeah. off. Now you get like they fire you. You know what I'm saying? You're not like basically you temporary until they make you permanent. Yeah, temp to hire type yeah, shit. Yeah. So, um, I just got the job. They had me on that like uh, sixty ninety day probation shit. And um, so whatever, I'm doing my thing, trying to get back to, you know what I mean, schedule, because probation had to make me get a job, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I had to get do my shit. So, um, mind you, I'm still doing mechanics on the side, I'm still working on the cars, you know what I'm okay. saying, I was always still my thing, you know, taking apart motors and doing all that, just still the diagnostics, you know what I'm saying, like I have regular customers that come through for shit like that, yeah. like I, You enjoy doing that, I would Yeah, I, I was my hobby, I, I was my thing, cars, yeah, I yeah. loved it, you know what I'm saying. 
and um, and uh, still smoking weed on probation at the time. So what you doing, like doing the cleanse, like nah. getting the fake pee, get yeah, your man's pee, piss. fake pee. Yeah, yeah, staying yeah. my man's piss. So yeah, I was yeah. my like our, fam our family members piss. Like, yeah. So like, and then bringing the bag with me and you yep. know what I'm saying. Like, going going to get the, the little heat pad, put it down there. Yeah, keep it warm. You yeah. Know what yeah. Not even that, I've never bro. I do the old school. I What'd you do? I just put it right in my grown area. Okay, got you, got you. Keep the body heat. Yeah, yeah. I was always scared it would cool down. Nah, they didn't really check the heat where I was. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. Like that. Okay. Cool. 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 And um, I was getting away with it for a little bit, bro. But then, um, so one day, one day, um. I'm driving. I, I just finished working on on this dude's car. It was like, I, you know, I bought weed off of him, so he was like a plug type shit. No doubt. And um, he had some fire ass like Keith, bro, fire Keith. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I was like, man, just give me like a half of some fire weed and give me like a quarter or something of the Keith. Yeah. You feel me? And we straight like they don't even gotta give me cash for this shit. And that's exactly what he did. You feel me? So I was happy, bro. Like a kid from the can. Like I just left Toys R Us type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm happy as a kite. And fucking go ahead, bro. I go ahead and pick up my, my wife here at the time. And from there, we're driving back. I'm driving back home. I'm like, yeah, we about to roll this up. We're about to get real high before I have to go to work. So, bro, I don't know. I guess I don't know what it was, man. But supposedly, I, know, I did some dumb shit. I go ahead. I make the left turn on this busy intersection, man. And I supposedly, I ended up cutting off a bus. Oh. Supposedly, bro, but the uh -huh. bus was deep, my nigga, like deep, you feel me? No doubt. And obviously there was a cop right behind the bus. Ooh. You feel me? So now as soon as I make that left turn, boom, I see the cop make the right turn right behind the bus, right behind me. I literally look at my wife and I'm like, oh, they about to pull us over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm, on, I'm on probation, you know what I'm saying? I got weed and I got Keith. The Keith already is a whole big issue. Really? Because now it's like controlled substance because you- Are you serious? Yeah, because you you're breaking like the weed down to break it into like a whole other- Another substance yeah, manufacturing. Exactly. I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah. So that was a whole big issue right there. I was already like shitting bricks, you feel me? Right. So I told wife, I said, yo, I ain't stopping. So I ain't stopping. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I, I say, <laughs> buckle up, you know what I'm saying? And straight up, man. Buckle up, babe. And I grabbed everything, threw the shit down second gear, I grabbed everything as I'm booking it. I see the cop, boom, the whoop, sirens whoop. off. Yeah, I'm going down the block. I'm grabbing all the fucking weed and everything, stashing it down my fucking grown area. You know what I'm saying? At the time, um, I had a uniform I had to wear, so they were like some dicky pants, you know, them thick dicky yeah. pants? And I had some Tims on, so they were like little cuffed at the bottom. And um, so I was wearing that. So mind you, the, the, the pants were pretty solid. Um, so right, whatever, I'm going, we booking it. The nigga ended up finally catching up to me. Okay. Catches up to me, I ended up keep going. I ended up pulling right in front of my mom's crib. And I uh, pull up in front of my mom's crib. He literally pulls up right next to me with the hammer. He pulls up to the window. He's like, the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm just like, the fuck's wrong with you, officer? I'm just coming to my mom's house. He's like, you don't see me behind you? He's like, no, I had the music bumping. I didn't even know you was behind me. Oh, Straight up like shit. that. And he's like, and he just puts the gun down. He's like, get the fuck out the car. And I just get out the car. My mom comes out. And my mom comes out. She's like, oh, no. No, please, no. Because mind you, bro, you know, I've been dealing with the law already no for doubt. a minute. You know what I'm saying? The whole yeah. nine. So my mom, you know, I've always been a mama's boy. You know what I'm saying? Same. My mama, you know what I'm saying? She, she, that's my, my mother, you know? She, yeah, bro. So, like, she was already weird out. The cops like, no, don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going to arrest him. We're not going to arrest him. Bullshit, you know what I mean? So, interesting. Go ahead, pull me out the car. They take wifey out the car. I had a four door Honda Civic at the time. Okay, it was a black one, all black with some nice. Uh, well, yeah, dish. It was a, I think it was a '98. '98, right. yeah, it was an EK four door at the time, and I had nice rims on and nice system. It was clean. It was simple but clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so whatever, you get pulled over. They take wifey out the car. They take me out the car. And then, uh, shit, man, fucking, he pulls me out, starts searching me, and I'm like, yo, you're wasting your time, man. There ain't no weed in the fucking car. He starts searching me, patting me down. He ain't find no weed. Mind you, the weed's in my grown area the whole time. Yeah, yeah. With the Keef, you feel me? No doubt. And uh, so I'm like, man, ain't no weed in the fucking car, bro. There's nothing there. And then he's like, oh, all right, we'll see, we'll see. Boom, two more patrollies pull up, bro. And they start searching my whole car. Boom, they start talking to my wife. And I'm telling my wife, I'm like, man, we good. They ain't going to lock us up. They ain't got shit on me. They ain't got shit on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we straight. Wife, you looking at me with this face and she's shaking her head like, nah. 
Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, just shaking their head. And I'm, like, thinking the whole time, like, man, we're good, bro. Like, we're good. You know what I'm saying? I got the weed in my girl. They ain't going to find this yeah. shit. Dude come back around. And I, being a smart ass at the time, because obviously I knew he ain't going to find that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't going to let me go. Being a smart ass, he come back around. And I look at him and I laugh. And I say, I told you you ain't going to find nothing. And then he goes, he's like, well, I found you. And I was like, fuck you mean you found me? He's like, you should have never ran from me, buddy. I was like, what you, I ain't run from you. I said, I start pleading the fifth. I was like, I ain't yeah. run from you, bro. Like, what the, I have my music. Like, hold on. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm on probation. You about to fuck up my whole life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You about yeah. to fuck up my whole shit. I'm supposed to be going to work at 4 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm on probation with that job. Like, I'm about to lose it if I don't go. You know, you about to fuck up my whole life. I said, you should have never ran from me. Damn. So like, fuck, bro. So then from there, nigga throws me in the car. Now I'm sweating, bro. Cause I got the weed. I got the key from between my crow area. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I'm sweating, bro. And then next thing you know, niggas jump in my car and they ended up taking my car with them, bro. For real. So they ended up taking my car. They stripped the fuck out of my car, bro. Looking, looking for, for stone we, parts. Yeah. Nah, looking for the weed. I'm looking for the weed. Looking for the weed. Oh, shit. Because my Andre used to bake the fuck out that car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used yeah, to so sit in that shit. Smell, yeah, it smelled yeah. like hella weed in that yeah. shit, bro. So they they were looking for that shit. And I was telling them, there ain't no weed in there, bro. And then whatever we get up, man, now I'm thinking, right? I'm in the patrol car. Now I'm thinking to myself, damn, what the fuck am I going to do? I get caught with this Keith. I get caught with the fucking weed. I'm sitting up three to five. That was my first charge. That's the first thing. They're going to they gonna max me yeah. out. You yeah. feel me? So I'm going to sit up three to five years. I'm like, damn, what the fuck am I going to do now? So I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking... Pull up to the precinct, get out the car, bro. As we get out the car, we start walking. The weed starts dropping down the side of my leg. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm tripping, bro. Oof. I'm tripping. But then you know what the crazy part was, man? Like huh. I said, going back to what I said, I was wearing dickies at the time. Yeah. They were thick pants. Yeah. And I had the Tims on. Ooh. So I had the crease cuff right at the, you know what I mean? At the top of the Tims. Yeah, yeah. So when the weed fell, bro, the weed fell literally right at my calf. Like literally Into right Into the Tim? Here. In the right, side of the Tim? Right here. Oh, on the calf, got right it. there because of the the, the, the creases and the, yeah. the cuffs of the pants and the Tims being high top. Yeah. I literally had the weed right here. Oof. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So we get inside the precinct. They got to search me and shit. He tells me to take your shoes off. So whatever, I go ahead and take my shoes off. The first thing I grab is the weed. But I grabbed my calf through the pants. So I okay. held the weed there, took my sock off, took the Tim's off. Boom, he's like, you good? Put the shit back on, whatever, right? And I, now I know I got the weed in my calf. So I'm thinking to myself, I got to get rid of this shit. You damn right. I got to get rid of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, they, they're not letting me go. So obviously, there ain't no other way but the fucking bathroom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, I told him, I said, yo, look, listen, man, I need to use the bathroom. My stomach is killing me. Like, I'm fucked up right now. But as soon as I sit down, I'm already digging in my pants, bro. Stuffing the weed down the toilet, bro. Stuffing the weed down the toilet. And then I sit there. You know, obviously, I played it off. I took a shit. Yeah. I took a shit. You're damn right. Took did. a shit, sat there, you know what I'm saying? Got it out. Boom. Flushed the toilet like two, three times. I know you. That's boom. right. Boom. After that, I came out of there. I straight up. Fuck all y'all niggas. Sure. Y'all ain't got shit on me. Shit. And I was being a whole dick, but then he was being a dick right back. Yeah. Um. He basically, he called my job, told him I wasn't going to make it. Because I got locked up. Yeah, so I had to, oh, yeah, man. fuck me, right? And then after that, after that, yeah. he comes back and comes back and he's like, yo, I need, a, I need a drug test you. And I'm like, all right, whatever it is, what it is. Because he wanted to yeah. basically see if I was under the influence. No so I'm like, all right, I'll do the urine test. The dude comes back, he's like, oh, we got no urine test. All we have is a blood test. And I was like, bro, you got me fucked up if you think I'm going to do a blood test in the fucking precinct. Yeah, right. Like, that's that's not happening. Yeah. So he's like, oh, so you're refusing it? And I was like, no, I told you, get me a urine test. He's like, all right, so you're refusing. So I'm like, no. And then he basically put down that I refuse. So Damn. obviously when you refuse a drug test, it's an automatic suspension automatic, yeah, yeah. and the whole bullshit. So that ended up fucking me too, you know what I'm saying? Like I lost my license. And then I come out, I, I, mm. I, 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 go, I, go, I go see the judge. And I'm saying to myself, bro, I'm going to get bailed out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get bailed out because I didn't get to see the judge till the following morning, right? Because I had to see the night the precinct. Yeah. And um, I go see the judge. This motherfucker put my paperwork at the last fucking stack, bro, literally behind the stack. You yeah. feel me? So now I already missed one day of work, right? So now this is going on to the second day now. So now I'm in court. I'm stuck in court. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting to see the judge. Bro, I didn't see the judge till 3, 3.30. So I go ahead. I see the judge, whatever. You know what I'm saying? He gives me a $500 bill. All right, whatever, oh, light yeah. work. My sister's there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She already knew what time it was. Boom, she goes ahead. Goes, I go back, 
and they go ahead and they put me in the, in the cell where they're going to transport me now to the Riverhead Jail. So I'm like, man, y'all wasting your time. I'm about to go home. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get bailed out. My sister literally, you know what I'm saying? Go look. Bro, the clerk office closes at 3.30. Oh. <laughs> they go another night. Another night, though. Damn, Yo, bro. bro. So I, it wasn't even a night, dog. It was a trip now. Now yeah. it became a whole trip. You feel me? Yeah. So now from there, now they throw me on the bus. Chained me the fuck up the uh, whole night. I got to take the hour drive to the fucking jail in, you know what I'm saying, Riverhead. Yeah. Like, it was the worst. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, wondering what the fuck is going on. Like, why didn't she bail me out? Like, the bread was there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, bro, whatever, I get back to the river. Now we at the Riverhead jail. You know what I'm saying? And we there. They start processing me. The whole night, I got to get naked, get the, y'all, the whole shit. Like, bro, they, they check everything, bro. And yeah. Like, the whole, it's a hassle, you feel me? So then I'm waiting there, bro. Then, boom, they throw me in the fucking pen, bro. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck is taking so long, bro? Bro, long story short, she had to drive. You know what I'm saying? She had to drive basically from the crib. And she had to handle some shit, bro. I basically didn't get bailed out till like 1130 at night, bro. Oh, shit. So that right there, I was already fucked. Now, it's the second day now I missed. You feel me? So me, I'm like thinking, all right, whatever. We got through it the next day. I'll figure out something what I'm going to say to these niggas. Like, I'm, I'm not going to yeah. lose this job. Bro, I go to the job, bro. As soon as I walk in, they're talking. That's fucking security waiting for me right Ooh. at the door. Straight up, bro. And they were like, yeah, the police officer called us, told us what happened. Unfortunately, we're going to have to terminate you. And then they mm. escorted me out the fucking job. Bad look, bro. Then literally, bro, that's the crazy part about it. 30 to 45 minutes after I'm walking out, stressed the fuck out, my probation officer called me. Ooh. Yep. And she's like, so what's going on? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, shit, you know what time. I was like, you know what it is, man. I got I, I got locked up, you know what I'm saying? I, the whole night, I got a DV, you know what I'm saying? I got a fleeing charge. And she's like, all right, come see me tomorrow. So I was like, fuck. At this point, I was like, all right, I already know. I'm balls to the ringer, The bro. whole night, bro. I'm yeah. hitting rock after rock after rock yeah, after dog. rock, bro. And I'm just like, fuck, bro. And so I'm like, all right, next day come around. I already knew what it was. I'm telling my family, y'all might have to say, like, you know what I'm saying? She going to violate me and I'm just gonna have to sit up you know, yeah. for the next three years type shit and um <clears throat> bro thank god she was real cool you know what I'm saying even though she drug tested me yeah and I came up dirty I couldn't I there was no way I could have even with dirty yeah. urine like you know even with the clean urine if I would have taken urine she would they were gonna be on me bro and exactly what I said they were on me bro like they was on top of me like when I was in the stall type shit for yeah, real, yeah, like yeah. they were really watching me. You feel yeah. me? So and I had no other choice. You know, I threw my urine in there, came up dirty for for weed. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, you know, I gotta violate you. And I was like, I seen that coming a mile away. I was like, she's like, gotta go back to court. So basically, it was a whole error, like trial and error shit. And um, I was fighting that case. I was fighting that case for a whole year, bro. Damn. And Riverhead Court and going back to Central Islip Court because I was fighting the the the, the DUI. And the fleeing charge. Okay. So, and then I was fighting the violation charge in Riverhead. You know what I'm saying? So I had to pay my lawyer twice for the two cases type shit. Oof. And um, thank God he was able to get the DUI dropped to like, oh, a, nice. a, a, a uh, like a traffic violation type shit. Good job. And um, I got that dropped down to, like I said, traffic violation. And then it went back to my uh, probation officer. And then she dropped that, and only basically I only got violated for the dirty urine. Oh, tight. And um, then she, I got reinstated back to PO. Yeah. And but mind you, throughout that whole time though, like that I was fighting that whole year, it was dead time, dead time. So none of that time counted towards probation. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. So now instead of being five years, it just became six years because got I had you. a dead year type shit. Got you. You know, and then um, I got reinstated. I got back into probation and then i was sober for two years but i was mainly drinking i was drinking yeah. a lot of alcohol yeah yeah that's tough bro. you know because i guess i caught a case of depression bro you know because of all the shit that i was going through sure. you know what i'm saying like just life like yeah. i caught depression like and, and it was rough for me like i like i was i got hit rock bottom like heavy that sounds like rock bottom bro yeah when you start violating catching charges when yeah. you're on probation then i had like you know my nice car i had a nice bmw at the time yeah. i was selling parts of the bmw to just try to live just no to try like get some beers and shit like just to you know what i mean like to find another alternative out from the weed and whatever you know yeah. what i'm saying and 
And I was doing that for two years, and bro, I gained so much weight. Like, it was I believe crazy. It. I believe you know, I was trying to just recuperate back up, and then I got a job. I got a job back then again. You know, again in the same pharmaceutical line, you know, because I had experience with it. Even though I wasn't in there for too long, but shit, I put that shit in my resume yeah. anyways, because I didn't really have much to put on there anyways. So yeah. um, I got a position with them, and then I was working with them for a little bit. And then what's crazy about it was that the job that I, I got fired from first, I ended up, my, my grandfather started, you know, who was it? Um trying to remember it was a family member that was working there and he was there for a minute so he ended up talking to the boss and telling him like putting a good word for me and they ba basically rehired me but in a different position oh no shit yeah oh, so yeah, i was nice. a warehouse worker now so i wasn't going to do the mechanic department i was a warehouse now so bro i was at the warehouse spot and i actually bro that it was a lift off for me um because from that warehouse spot i went from a warehouse worker to a warehouse supervisor Okay. Yeah, and then from there, with those funds, I actually um, got a nice, like, I ended up buying, like, I had nice cars. I always had the nice cars. Yeah. And then I'm getting the Mercedes. The Mercedes. Remember I mentioned that? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, so I ended up getting the Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, ended up getting a nice, good payment off that. Got it off. And ended up selling it for a good, I got, like, 15 bands for it, gosh. At the time, it was good. Yeah, nice. it was fire. I only had, like, it was, like, 80,000 miles on it. Like, it was clean. Okay. So I get the cash and my mom's telling me, just buy a house, just buy a house. Like right now the market's fine, like it's perfect. You have a family, you need it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're cramped up, just buy a crib. So they ended up, they had two cribs. So basically they ended up signing over the crib to me, the second house they had. Yeah. And I just put down the down the payment because I had to basically switch over like all the titles, the mortgage, like everything onto my name. Yeah. So basically I had to put it, like basically I was buying the house from them basically. Type oh, no shit. doubt. Yeah, no doubt. so that's basically what we did. And then I put that as a down payment, which was a 2% okay. with the house was. And that's how basically, you, man. yeah. And then from there it was good, bro. I was chilling, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't smoking weed. Oh, God, you know thank what I'm God. Saying? You were stressing me out, bro. Yeah. I was like, where's the fucking light at the end of this Yeah, cell, so bro? I, I got up with Christ. that. Thank God, bro. Whew. I got up and then okay, ended cool, up getting cool. the crib. The family was happy. And then um, now I'm starting to see the light and the probation. Beautiful. You and the probation and now. The probation. And you got the crib? Yeah, oh, I got let's the crib. Go. Yeah, I the about the yeah so I was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The crib, boom, we start, we start chilling. You know what I'm saying? Me and wifey, we living comfortable now. The kids nice, living bro. comfortable. Good, and then um, um, go ahead, boom, bro. Let's, uh, let's fast forward over to my birthday that same year. Okay. Um, what year is this now? Just so I got a time frame? This was like 2018. I'd say oh, word. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. I'm already out here for one year at this point. 2018. Word. I'm already getting, I'm about to get released out of probation. I'm about to get cleared. Are and you growing weed yet, bro? I haven't heard no talk about growing weed bro, yet. So, yes, yeah, so this is where it comes right, into boom. it. Go ahead, go ahead. So, we go ahead and, uh, we go ahead and, uh, I get, I basically start dealing with the exotic weed shit. You know, okay. I got released from probation. Now I'm dealing with the exotic weed. Now you're trapping. Now I'm trapping. That a boy. I was trapping. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. back, folks. Yeah. He's back. Now I was trapping. Different lane. <laughs> a little safer, kind of. Yeah. You know it was pretty. Really, you know, I was more safer at the time. So I was trapping. I was. Yeah. I was. Uh, I was known at that time. I started off as Reefer Rick. You know, Reefer I, Rick. Reefer Rick. Let's that go. was my name. You know, I loved on what? Bro, in the street? Yeah. Okay. Reefer started Rick. Instagram. Uh, no, I started Instagram. Gotcha, you know what gotcha, I'm saying? Gotcha. And it was Reefer Rick. And I loved the Rick and Morty show. I was still a kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get that mentality and shit. And then um, grew up out of it. And then I called myself um, the Stone Mechanic. The Stone Mechanic. I the like Stone that. Stone Mechanic. You know what I'm That's saying? Cool, and man. that was my that was my like uh, trapping company basically. That okay. was like where I get all my exotics and all that stuff and. I linked up with a homie of mine that I knew for a long time. You know, he was moving some shit. And then um, my my wife's brother, which is my brother-in-law. Yeah. So long story short, I came home one day after probation. Motherfucker has got a fucking cookie bag, pound of cookie bag sitting on the fucking dining table. Let's the fucking crib. And he's like, you know what time it is, bro. Like, we about to get fucking high as a motherfucker. Uh -huh. I'm paranoid as a kite. Because mind you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still thinking I'm on pro I still got that probation yeah, mentality. Yeah, five, six he, years is a long time, Yeah, bro. you know what I'm saying? Huh. So long whatever time. we get there, I'm, whatever, I'm happy, bro. I'm enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, we start fast forwarding. And, and um, I was moving to Cali weed. And it got to a point where it was like, bro, it was just too expensive. It was too expensive. So this is like late 2018 now. And, you know, like, like I said, I had the crib, so I had an extra room. 
And I was like, man, if these people could do it out in Cali, it's like, we're all human beings. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like you are human, I'm a human, we're all the same. Yeah. We could all do the same shit, bro. Same way you could do it, I could do it. So I'm like, fuck that, I'm gonna try growing this shit. So mind you, throughout the years, um, of like trap, not even throughout the years, like say throughout the whole year that I was trapping, I was getting bag seeds throughout packs that I was getting. You know okay. What I'm so I would keep them. And there would be fire, like fire flower that I was getting it from. Sure. So go ahead and um, I start popping them shits. So, you know, I start doing some Google researches. I start fucking going on YouTube. Yeah. You know, sitting there with wifey at night, smoking blunts, just fucking on my phone, researching, like, what the fuck is pH or what nutrients or what da 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 You know what sure. I'm saying? I didn't really know much or anything at all. I just, like, just went with it. So I went to Home Depot. And, like, I bought bullshit-ass miracle Grow soil. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? And I, yeah, and then I went ahead and I was like, oh, I'm going to grow some of the fucking cleanest fucking weed with no nutrients. It's just going to be straight water and it's going to be the cleanest fucking weed ever type shit. Oh, <laughs> man, you got to figure it out, so, yeah. folks. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fucking kill it, bro. Yeah. And, you know, go ahead. And it's like, no, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was. It wasn't was, him, but, Jim. Uh, no. So, but mind you, it was so fucked, bro. I had the whole kitchen all fucking rigged up, dude. And my you blew wife, out the kitchen, bro. I had yeah, bro. Like you I ain't blew out the side room. No, blew I out the blew kitchen? out the kitchen. I had the ceilings oh, in the kitchen, bro. Wifey, I had the, the tent in the room. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like now you're doing too much. You know you're what doing I'm saying? Too much. You know bro. we fucking I, we go to leave one day and I fucking go. I ordered I ordered my first LED light. You know some purple shit, the fucking king LED or whatever the fuck it was. It was like 50 bucks, bro. I go to order that shit. I hang it up in the fucking kitchen. I was so eager. I was like, all right, let's go eat dinner. We go go have dinner. As we're leaving dinner, we're fucking, you see the pink fucking purple light just beaming out the fucking oh curtains, God, bro. bro. <laughs> As we're driving away, and I'm like, I'm like, nah, I'm turning back around. Oh, I gotta yeah, I was like, I gotta turn this shit yeah, off, bro. bro. So I was like, I was tripping, bro. Yeah. You know, wifey was talking hella shit. She's like, no, nah, you need to figure, you get the shit in the fucking room if you want to do it. And, bro, I had, like, fucking, like, 20 pot, like, small little fucking cu- solo cups of just mad seedlings, bro. And yeah. just getting them shits to grow. Once they will like, grow, then I put them in, like, a bigger fucking pot. Yeah. And, bro, I was just, just you know, trying to experiment, trying to get the shit, like, the flow, like, on how to... St- I was popping mad seeds, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Mad seeds, bro. And I wouldn't get them all to pop, but shit, they were bag seeds. I didn't pay for them shits, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, my trial and error. Finally, bro, I was finally able to get a few good ones to fucking pop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And they, like, literally took off. So, all right, boom, now let's, let's move them into the fucking tent. You know what I'm saying? So wifey doesn't start bitching no more. So yeah. that's literally what we did. Well, that's what I did. And um, so I'm in the tent now. And uh, prior to this, I had a homie that was renting there, right? I was, okay. like, it was my co-defendant, matter of fact. Okay. So it was my co-D. So I was like, I had him, like, let him stay there for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He needed a place to stay. You know, yeah. he was still in and out, jail, you know what I'm saying? Doing all, but again, that was my cold deal. I was my best friend at the time. It was my, I, like, I got you, bro. That's my brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, he had his own little lane, you know, with like you know, the white girl shit. He yeah, was yeah. doing his own thing. Little so, Brittany. yeah. So, yeah. me, I was, that wasn't my lane. I wasn't ever really jacking. I yeah. was, it was always the weed for me. Like, that was me, like, weed, weed, weed. It was nothing else. Um, So, I had him there. And what's so crazy and ironic is that <coughs> I told him he had to move out because obviously the coke stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah. wasn't my lane. And with my kids there, like I told him, I can't have that. Chill it all Yeah, that. so he's yeah. like, I got to have you to go, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, all right. Gratefully, he took it, like, no no hard feelings, no nothing. Cool. He's like, I'm out. And then the crazy part about it was that the day after he left and he moved into his new spot, he got raided. Ooh. So that right there got me like paranoid as a motherfucker because I'm like, they were watching this dude. Yeah. They were watching him, you know what I'm saying? So they were probably watching him from when he was at my crib, living at my crib, slinging the fucking, you know what I mean? All that. So it's like, fuck. Yeah. So I got paranoid. Mm. You know what I'm telling wifey? And I'm like, nah, fuck this. I was like, I got to get this shit out of here. You know what I'm saying? I got to get this to grow out of here. Even though it was a fucking, it was a two by four tent, bro. Yeah. But one bullshit ass little light and like fucking eight plants in this shit, bro. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm fucking like Pablo Escobar and Paul are moving yeah. bricks or some shit. You feel yeah. me? So, but I'm like, nah, I gotta get this shit out of here. I, like, I can't do this not for my family. Like, nah, you know, I can't put my family through this. You know, again, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Mind you, I got the whole paranoia. I just went through the whole shit with the whole law shit. Like, I don't yeah, I, I, I want nothing to do with that shit. So, 
But when it comes to my brother-in-law, he's like, nah, bro, don't throw them shits out. He's like, well, bring them to my house. Bring them over to my in-law's crib, right? So I'm like, nah, bro, Pop's going to kill us. He's like, bro, he ain't going to know. And I'm like, nah, Pop's going to kill us. He's like, bro, I got it. It's like, all right, boom, bring it up over there. <laughs> bring it in the garage. Yeah. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, bring it up to the garage and shit. And then from there, he keeps it in the garage and everything, keeps the tent open, whatever. And then I waited a couple of days, and I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to bring this shit back. So when I go over there to look, bro, I'm going to go check it out, see how everything's doing. I told him, you know, to water it for me and everything. When I go to look, and I get in there and I open the tent, bro, hella fucking gnats, bro. Oh, like, shit. Like, fucking thousands came out, bro, out the fucking oh, tent. Oh, shit. And I was like, what the fuck did you do? He's like, bro, I didn't do anything. He's like, I just left the tent in the garage. Mind you, bro, the garage takes mad heat, hella heat. Oh, yeah. Feel me? So in the summer, it gets hella hot, like 100 degrees. Yeah. You feel me? So it was crazy heat, especially in a tent yeah. with the light. Bro, it was mm. crazy, bro. No AC. Yeah, so it, caused, it created the fungus gnats. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. The fucking flower, the, the plants were just wilted. Yeah. Like, they were bad, bro, bad. Yeah. And then he was like, nah, bro, he said, I didn't do anything. I just watered them. And I was like, fuck, whatever. It is what it is. I tried to bring them back, and then I couldn't bring them back. Ended up slicing them down. My pops ended up finding out. Ooh. Calls me. He's like, yo, you think that was a good idea? Ooh. He's shit. like, yo, you don't fucking know I got sticks in the crib. And you know what I'm saying? And whatever I told him, I took full on responsibility. But then after that, I ended up calling my brother. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? You got my shit. You, you fucking lit my ass up. You know what I'm saying? Got me looking crazy. Yeah, looking crazy. Now he knows what the fuck I'm doing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then he, with my kids, you know, it's just, that's his grandson. You feel me? So it's like, on. yeah. So I was like, whatever. So I, I chilled on the growing for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I chilled out, and I was like, well, I was still slinging the weed. I was still slinging the weed. You know, I was still making some income. And then um, ended up leaving my day job, you know, because I was like, nah, something's got to I can't be dealing with this shit. Like, they weren't paying me enough, and they were slowing me down from, like, trapping and shit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right, right, right. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just leave it. My wife was like, you fucking crazy. Like, you need, we need it. Fuck that. I ended up getting more motion though, you feel me? Like I started more promoting, more marketing, whatever, and at the same time growing my weed. Like I started growing back again. So I started back growing up again and I got the, the two by four tent back out. Right. I started doing the seedlings again. And then I was like, fuck it, this time I'm gonna buy some seeds. So I ended up buying, so this is my first time um, getting like literally like buying for like fucking seeds, like exotic seeds. So it was yeah. from um, in-house genetics. I don't okay. know if you heard of that brand. I heard of them, yeah. They're breeders. Yeah. And um, I bought, um, you know, uh, the King Sherb. Okay. Which was a uh, blue Sherb crossed to OG KB v, V2.1, Whoa. which was pretty fire. And then um, I came with some freebies, which was the, the Slurman IX, which is Slurricane cross to... Some other shit, I forgot the name of it. But it was fire, too, bro. It was real fire. Okay. And um, I ended up basically um, hunting through them seeds, and I found, like, one of each. And um, at the time, I didn't really want to be, like, the stone mechanic. I wanted to do, like, a separate brand okay. for, like, like the cultivation. You know, like, for, like, not cult yeah. like, for, like, weed, they're my own brand. So I was like, I got to think of something else. So we're brainstorming, we're brainstorming, and then... My brother-in-law comes around. He's like, yo, the mechanic's farm. He's like, he's a mechanic. He's like, let's do the mechanic's farm. And I was like, that's valid. Because mind you, my trapping company is the stone mechanic. Yeah, this so is perfect. Like, it's perfect. This is, this is perfect. He's like, I love it. Yeah, he's like, the mechanic's farm, bro. I was like, say less. Boom, we go ahead. I build up a bullshit-ass little logo. You know, a little mm -hmm. shit that I did on a little app that I, you know, downloaded yeah. and shit. Yeah. Just, to, you know, I always was get trying to get that represent. Yeah. So, get that going. And um, from there, I ended up dropping those of my first drops was was uh, the King Sherb. I made bags. I got designs done for it. Tight. I made some bags for it, some Mylar bags. And then, uh, same thing on the Slurman IX. And, and then um, I ended up meeting um, a dope-ass design artist that was from the U.K., Oh, wow. That's and what's um, up. she was a female. And she was real dope with the artist, bro. Like, she was with the art. Like, she was finesse shit. And she ended up making my logo that I got now. So she revamped my logo. And 
made the logo now. And a lot of people ask me still to this day who made my logo. The logo is tight. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I ain't gonna let you know. I'm gonna hold that down. Because you have all these fucking every other guy yeah. looking like your shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying with that style. Yeah, so I try to keep it different. You know what I'm saying with whoever made that. Unfortunately, she doesn't work for me anymore um, because of uh, currency issues. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to transfer funds and stuff. Sure. It was an issue for her. And then um, she had an issue with PayPal and whatever. It was a whole big bullshit. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, but I ended up getting, I was able to squeeze out those few logos out of her. So she made a few logos for me, um, which was like uh, the, the King Sherb. She made my original logo I got now. Okay. Um, she made the uh, Slurman IX logo. And then as I kept going, I made three more logos along the line because I ended up, now after I found those cuts, I mean, those phenos through those seeds. Now I'm like, all right, I could fucking do this shit. You know what I mean? Like, this is it. Like, bro, this shit was fire, bro. Like, I was like, bro, I was impressed myself. No shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I bought it around, like, my plug. And then I bought it around a few, like, custody, like, consumers and custody that I had. And they were like, yo, bro, you grew this? And I was like, yeah, bro. They're like, yo, this shit is fire. Let's go. Yeah, and I was like, all right, say less. So then I kept going. And then I ended up buying um, some clones. Okay. I bought some clones out from some homie out in Michigan, and um, I bought uh, the ice cream cake, and then I had bought the acai gelato, and then I bought uh, peanut butter breast. I actually bought the peanut butter breast from Fire Farmer. Shout out Fire Farmer. Oh, shit. Yeah, nice, this was way bro. back. Yeah, it was way back, way back. Hell yeah. And then um, I got those cuts in rotation, and I got her to make up those logo, th- those logos, those designs. And then from there, bro, I just like, all right, let's expand. So uh, wifey was on board with this. She was like, fuck it. She's like, she agreed as well. Like, those batches were fire. Like, it was smoking. Like, it was yeah. good. So I went ahead. Now I bought a, um, I bought a, it was a three by three with a two by four on the side with two, it was a two tier side, like side. So it was like, it was one big tent, but it had like three tiers. Okay. So it had one big four by four tier for flowering, yeah. and then it had a two uh, two by four tiers, two of them, one on top of the other for like veg. Okay. So I had set it up like fire, bro. I put like a veg light on top, a veg light pop. So I had a two tier yeah. veg on the side. You know what I'm That's saying? Cool, yeah. Man. It was like eight. It was like That's eight plants. It was eight plants vegging, and then I had the flower set up. So once those were done vegging, boom, right into the, the yeah. three by three and. I we go ahead and, uh, like I said, he's always with me. So me and him would always smoke constantly. We would constantly smoke, you know what I'm saying? Every time together. That's cool. And man. Uh, and um, shit, I lost my train of thought. So you chilling with Pops. We chilling with Pops. And, okay, so you brought Pops in. So you you, you growing up, you're doing your own thing, you're scaling up. Mm-hmm. Now, he knows I've been trapping because I've been serving him weed myself. Oh, no shit. Okay. Like I said, my pops was always my best friend. He knew exactly That's everything cool, I did. He knew from when I was thieving. He knew from when I was slinging. He knew to when I was growing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I let him on everything. So, like, anything was like, yo, pops, what do you think? Uh, uh, you feel me? Like, well, you know, yeah. I always talk with him, have his insight. But when I got him into the growing, she was like, oh, fuck, you're doing this shit? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Like, he was pretty, I, like, like, I didn't get the, like, I didn't expect that reaction from yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, fuck, yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. So whatever. So I start bringing him, and he starts helping me set up a drain tray, like the drain for the tray, like a fucking table for it. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was helping me out and shit. And then, I, you know, and then from there, I kept going. So after that, I ended up buying a 4x4 four four tent. All right. Okay. And then, um... After I had the four by four tent, I had a three by three. So I had a ve- uh, the three by three for veg. Well, before even all of this, I ended up um, finding a garage. Okay. So before I even nice. did all of that, I still had the the two tier set up and all that shit. I ended up finding a dope garage, and and then from there I was like, all right, I'm gonna build this garage out. You know what I'm saying? And fuck the tents. But before you know, I fast forward. I'm sorry, I scratched that. I'm going to throw the tents in there, because that's literally what we did. I threw the tents in there, and I bought a big-ass fucking tent, which was a, a 5 by 9 Now, there we go. It was a 5 by 9 tent, so it was a two-lighter. I had a two-light tent, so it was... The, the shed was a 12 by 12 So I basically had um, built a wall. So when you walk in the shed, you walk into a wall, 
then you have to close that door, and then you have to open the other door, and then boom, you're in the, the fucking yeah. room, right? So I had the tent, and then I had like a four by four tent, and then you know I just keep the rotation like I told you. It was just from veg, boom into yep. flower, and then vegging again, and just keep going, and you know and that's how I kept continu continuously doing drops like under the mechanics farm. Okay. And then um, what year was this? I'm sorry. This was now going into now we're in 2019. Got it. Yo, you learn how to grow good weed pretty quick. It, like based off this timeline we're going over yeah. right now, like you caught on fucking quick, man. Yeah. This is impressive. So like going on is probably going to answer one of your questions about like a good fucking technique that I have. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be one of them. You know what I'm saying? But um I learned on pretty fast. Like everything that I did hands on, like even with stealing cars to even with getting the job at the the pharmaceutical, like it was quick. I would learn everything super fast. I'd catch on really fast. Yeah. And I find that, like, that's, like, an upper hand that I have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Almost no things. doubt. You know what I'm saying? And then not only that, like, I, if I put my mind to something, bro, I'm doing this shit full on 100%. You're one of those. You jump in yeah, head feet first. Exactly. Yeah, I was sure. straight on it. Like, the same thing with even stealing cars. I made that shit my living, bro. Bro, you're stealing six, seven cars a day, bro. You ain't. That's what I'm you saying. You have to tell me, bro. I'm like, you was in, bro. All the way. So... Now we're back in the shed now. So then at this point now I'm saying to myself, nah, fuck this. We're going to blow out the shed. I'm not doing tents no more. I'm doing four lights in this bitch. We're going to throw everything. Dehues up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. This is it. Like, now everybody, like, telling me the mechanics farm is smoking. Like, not everybody, like, big people, but just people around me are, like, telling me, like, this is it. So, again, like I told you, I go full on, bro. So now I was like, fuck it. Now I'm going to start moving my weed, bro. So you, man. that's literally what I did. So we... we that was my first four lighter, and then what I ran in there was uh, was white truffle. It was a white truffle cut. It was the most expensive cut that I ever bought at that time, which was twelve hundred dollars. And I bought it from my boy out in uh, in Boston, my boy Brett. Um, the the chromatic cultivation. Hopefully he watches this, man. He kind of retired. He's not really growing right now, but he grew some really fire weed in, in Massachusetts. Okay. And um, but that's my dog, man. Um, he, I bought them cuts off him. I actually bought a lot of exotic cuts from him, and he blessed me, you know. Okay. And I bought that white truffle, and I, and he blessed me with this cut of ice cream cake cross from Sherb BX1. At the time, it was, um, we called it a Sherb cake. Okay. That's what he decided to call it. No doubt. And um, it was a fire cut, you know, it was really good. So I ended up growing those few, those first strains in that in that room. Okay. And um, so now we're fast forwarding. I guess this was now. Shit, I guess what year we could say I don't really remember what year this was, but we were I think we were going into twenty twenty one. Okay. Right, so we're going into twenty twenty one, and now we're going we're growing out the shed. Now we're growing, you know what I'm saying? I'm do, trying to find another spot, and I'm starting to expand. I ended up basically at this point now after I expanded the big room, like the the floor lighter, and I had that run going. I said to myself, Yo, I'm gonna stop trapping. Like I wanted to stop because it was just. It wasn't doing me any good, you know. Honestly, the prices were getting too high, to where it's like I wasn't, is it? I wasn't even making much money, or I was just getting me into debt. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. It was like oh, just, I know. So it was like it wasn't even worth it. So I ended up deciding to say I was like, yo, fuck the trap and shit. You know, so I had a harvest coming up, so I was like, fuck this. I'm just gonna just do my own thing. Just sell your own weed. So you don't consider selling your own weed trapping, huh? No. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I really don't. <laughs> I like how you put that though. I don't. No, I'm fucking with you. No, yeah, so you mean, a lot of people actually like. I'm, no, actually, I'm not a plug. I'm I not grow a trapper, cannabis you know and saying? I sell flowers. Yeah. I'm not trapping I'm not your trapper, shit. Fool. No. I'm not buying weed and selling it. I'm growing weed and selling. It's a fucking That's difference. It. It's a difference. <laughs> I mean, it's a difference, it's a difference. but it's still trapping. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In my world, but yeah. no, nah, fucking no. Nah, I feel what you're saying, bro. Good for you, man. As you should, bro. Yeah. So now, so now we ended up filling up that room with the ice cream cake, the sherb cake, and then okay. the white truffle. So now 420 is approaching. You know oh, saying? for 20, 2021. Yeah. That was God, the first shit. time we're at Washington Square Park, if yeah, I'm not mistaken. Bro. Right? I think that was the year. Hold up. was That was the first one. No, that was 22. 22. Because, yeah, 23 was last year. We just so did 23. So, yeah, 2022. So, 22 came out. Yeah. So I, we had a booth there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was in the side. That was the right? first, first, like, where The first every, big one. Where after it went legal. Yeah. yeah. Dojo was there with the permanent marker. You know and what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Alien Labs were there. Fidel Alien was there. was there. Everybody Ed Ted was, was there. Yeah, bro, there. Fucking everybody. Everybody. Fields. Was there. Yeah, everybody, everybody was there. So, 
I said to myself, this is my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I had a few runs already. Like, I got it. You know what I'm saying? My shit is smoking. Like, people fuck with it. So I'm like, this is my chance, my opportunity to actually get my shit out there. All every all these heavy hitters is coming from the West oh, you damn to right. the East. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. why why the fuck would I not take that opportunity and fucking get my shit out there? Yeah. So that's literally what I did. Line everything lined up so perfect to the harvest to when everything cured up to where it was ready to go, right for 420. Nice. And I literally I, I kid oh. you not, bro, I went back, went back to my phone. Went back to my phone, checked the flyer, see all the f- names that were coming. I got my all my letter bags done and everything, and I wrote names for every single person that I knew that was gonna come, and I was gonna give them samples too. And I had one sample for every for I had one sample of each for every single person with their name on it. Wow! So I made sure like I was wow. out there. I was on a my, I was on a mission, bro. That you was strategic as fuck. That bro. was on a mission. So I'm like I'm gonna well go out there. I'm gonna give these dudes my weed. I'm going to see if maybe I could even get a little dope video or something, you know, them shouting me out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially it's a New York brand, so it's like it's grown here. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So dude. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go Perfect. out there. I'm going to do it. So that's literally what I did, bro. And I linked up, like I said, Alien Labs with Ted was the first one I seen. You know, and then after that, I seen Gas No Breaks. Then I seen uh, uh, Surge, mm-hmm. Surge Cannabis, and I linked up, and I seen him. And then after that, um, I, seen, I seen Fidel. Um, then I kept going. Then I seen EK. When I seen, when we seen EK, it was all love. Like he, he did a dope video for me, like Sorry. a real dope video Sorry. for me. And then um, he was like, yo, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was liking it. Fast forward, I ended up seeing Ryan. So I ended up seeing Ryan in the park. In the park, no doubt. And um, at first, I'm thinking to myself, I was like, fuck, maybe this ice cream cake. Cross with Sherb isn't like all that, you know what I mean? Like, because I didn't really get too much of a reaction of it, mm-hmm. you know. But the white truffle, I felt like was a one. But again, I was just being biased because it was my own shit. No doubt, you know what I'm saying? But just you know, I knew like how it looked in flower and shit. So I was like, this shit is fire. But again, other people just didn't like that white truffle turf profile. Nobody like that or ice cream yeah, cake you know out here. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. So I was so like, it's... fuck. Well, whatever. I'm still pushing this shit. So whatever, bro. So I see Ryan. I give him the white truffle. And he was like, he smells it. And he's like, oh, it looks good. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And I told him I grew here, whatever. And then like, I was like, oh, and then I was like, fuck it. I'm just giving him the ice cream cake. So I go ahead and I pull out the shirt. And then boom, once I give him that one, he opens it. He was like, oh, shit. He's like, and he goes, yo, Guti, yo, smell this real quick. And he goes, Guti's like, yo, that smells like my permanent marker. And he was like, yeah. He's like, yo, that's crazy. He's like, you grew this? I'm like, yeah, bro. He said, yo, this smells really good. He's like, yo, as a matter of fact, he's like, I'm working on some seeds. He's like, would you be willing to test some, like run some for me? And I was like, fuck yeah, bro. I'm like, without a doubt. Oh, let's and go. And he was like, all right, cool. He's like, he's like, here, take my number. Boom, Bruce, he give me his number and everything. Text him right there. And that was it, bro. We locked in. Mission complete. Yeah. And then from there, he, he's like, yo, he's like, I'm going to text you. He's like, I'm going to get you some seeds. He said, just give me a little bit. They're still in the works, but he said, I'm going to get you some seeds. So I was like, all right, boom. Go ahead. I didn't think nothing of it. We kept going. You know what I'm saying? The day kept going on. He ended up texting me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I didn't forget about you. Like, I'm going to get you over some seeds. He's like, just give me some time. He's like, he's like, just, but just keep texting me. He's like, keep texting me. He's like, yo, I'm busy as fuck. Like, my shit gets overwhelmed. Like, just text me. So I was like, all right, cool. So time goes by, and then now he did a drop over at Higher Empire. Okay. And then he ends up texting me. He's like, yo, I'm going to be in New York. He said, like, I got them seeds for you. So I was like, bet. He's like, nice. if you want them early, he said, come to L.A. I was like, oh, I can't really do that. I was like, I'll just wait for you to get over here. He was like, all right. Boom. He comes to he comes to New York, whatever. I wasn't too familiar with Higher Empire at the time. You know okay. what I'm saying? I wasn't like... I wasn't even there for Higher Empire, honestly. I was right. there to see Ryan and to get no what doubt. I had to get. So he ends up calling me. He's like, look, listen. He's like, I'm going to be there early at this day, this day. He's like, um, 
He's like, I'll call you or text you the day prior so we can figure out arrangements so we can link up. Okay. He's like, I got the seeds for you. He's like, don't worry about it. Like, I'm going to bring them for you. Whatever. So, boom, the next day comes or the day before. He's like, just pull up. Pull up at 10 o'clock. So I was like, all right, cool. So I, bro, immediately, I'm like, all right, now I got to find a babysitter. You know what I'm saying? I got to find a sitter and whatever. I called my sister. You know, wifey's at work, so I called my sister. I was like, come home. Oh, come to my house. Please. Yeah, come to my house. Stay with my with my son. I got to go. <coughs> Jumped in my car. Gone. Went over there, bro. And literally slippers, some shorts, fucking off-white shirt, bro. Sure, went right over there and just pulled up. And there was a fucking line. And now I'm saying to myself, fuck, I hope I don't got to wait this line, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I pulled up right in front. So I'm standing at the front of the door, and everybody's looking at me all crazy. And I was like, yo, he's like, come in. I was like, all right, bet. Boom, comes in, gives me a dap, whatever, and has, like, fucking, like, four different seed packs of seeds on the table. And he's like, yo, bro. He's like, I got I got all these seeds for you, bro. He's like, I don't know how much you could pop. He's like, but just take whatever you need. And it's like, he's like, I really want you to run these. And he gave me... He gave me first, which was the soap times blue mosa. Oh, nice. Um, and then he ended up giving me, um, which was the unique ones that I have now, um, the, um, the 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 OZK cross to strawberry scalato. Oh hell yeah! He gave me the runs times cough and candy. And then those, I think those were the three. From what I recall, and we smoked one of those last night, didn't we? Yeah, the, the yeah. runs times blue mosa. Yeah, I think so. Well, I had them in the hash hole. Um, okay. I got some hash holes now, so you could try. Nice. Them. Yeah. Um, so I got those in hand, and um, oh, he gave me sour diesel crosses. Um, then he gave me some other. Uh, I forgot which other one he gave me, but I only ended up popping about like seventy of them. But it was the, the Runs Times Coffin Candy, which was the Runs BX1, um, the Soap Times Blueberry Mimosa, and the OZK Cross the Strawberry Scalato. Um, okay. He told me the OZK Cross, Cross the Strawberry, Strawberry Scalato was unique and very special to him because of the OZK being his helium strain. Oh, okay. So gotcha. that, so that um, OZK is actually his helium Cross the Strawberry Scalato. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's gotcha. why he's like, yo, bro, this is, like, some unreal. Like, I literally only got maybe, like, 13 seeds out of that shit, like, that he gave me. Oh, shit. But he, that was the rest of it. Like, he's like, yo, I didn't got a lot of these. Okay. So those worked out. Bro, I literally grabbed them, bro. Wasted no time. I literally dapped them up. I said, thank you, bro. Because I was, like, literally one of the first ones, like, in New York. Duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, bro, I'm wasting no time. Can I just stop you for just for a second and just let you know what that looked like from this side, bro? So, like, I, I remember him. Um, he gave you a shout-out, right? Did he give you a shout-out after that 420? Yeah. Right? And I remember I remember this vaguely. Like, a shout-out, like, yo, I'm working with some new people. Yo, On the first mechanics. smoke of the day, right? That he did some shit like that? I don't that. remember where I saw it, but he for sure shouted you yeah. out, right? And, uh, you know, just and, and just watching, like, him locking in somebody from the East Coast. Yeah. For his brand. And, like, I'm, I'm here thinking, cause I'm, I'm from the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? I've been out here six years now. But, like, that's always been a dream of mine to be like, all right, boom, I got to lock in on the East Coast. But, like, it starts with cultivation. Yeah. And I'm like, where the fuck do I look? Exactly. And then I seen him lock you lock you in, you know what I mean? And you guys are rocking. I was like, holy shit, bro, this is fucking dope. He's got somebody out there killing shit. Yep. And then I'm like, yo, that that looked crazy. And, like, Doja's got a big voice, bro. He's yeah. one of the biggest in the game. Exactly. You know, worldwide, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Respectfully. Bro. And, uh... Yo, just to see that, I was like, holy shit, this is yeah. this is getting big. Like, the cannabis industry is expanding. Like, we got hitters in the East Coast. And now to hear, like, you've only been growing, like, not that long, and you're getting this uh, love and yeah. from, from guys that really know how to curate, really know what dope smoke is, I was very fucking interested yeah. in your story, who the hell you even were. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, You son. did say that to me. You're making some noise. You're yeah, making yeah, yeah. some noise, yeah. playboy. That, that was big. Like, you got a guy like that. Bigging you up, you know that that does get around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Continue. So then, um, went ahead, got the seeds, got them in water immediately. Wasted no time. Um, those are already going in the background. Whatever. I'm keeping him up to date, sending him pictures of the veg, and basically I had a whole like weave out the mails and stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we got towards that. 
now here comes um the Growers Cup event. So here comes around the 420 event. That nice. Yeah, so it, was it for now? This was a December event. Not sure. It was in December um, where they had Alien Labs and they had BEZ and, and Doja, I think, was sponsoring that. first. It was the first annual cup. Okay. The Grow Cup. That I, do remember, I do remember hearing yeah. about this, yeah. And um, basically, uh, Doja ended up pulling up. And I was there. I had entered the cup, and I ended up taking third place for, ex yeah. for exotic, best exotic. On um, <clears throat> I had a sea junkie cut that I got. Okay. C Shout out to sea junkie because sea junkie, sea junkie. I got some cuts from sea junkie that were fucking fire, bro. That actually what? got me a lot of recognition as well. Nice. Besides, yeah, you know just, he was putting out some heat, but um, it was uh, the jealous, uh, the London pound cake across the jealousy. Tight. And I ended up calling it the Jealous Pound Cake. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. So I called it that. And that's what I entered. It was fresh harvest, too, bro. Like, fresh. Like, stick you, pull the shit out the turkey bag. It was a whole the brick. football. Yeah. yeah. Brick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was so fresh. The trichomes, everything. Like, fucking diamonds dancing on this yeah, shit, bro. bro. You know what I mean? And I just, like, submitted it and everything. Even fucking the dude who took it was like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking right there, like, I, I, mean, I got this shit in the fucking bag. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I just ended up losing to a fucking Mac cut, but it oh, is what it is. <laughs> oh, kick in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't happen out here, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. That's what it is. Shout it's out all to subjective, the, yeah, Shout out but, to everybody. Yeah, man, of young, course, bro. Of course. Period. I'm just fucking around. Um, so then I ended up seeing Ryan there, and uh, as soon as he see me, he was like, yo, what's up, bro? What's in the third eye? You, he said, you got some weed? I was like, fuck yeah, I got some weed. You know what I'm saying? So I was That's like, right. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, what do you got? And pulled out the jar, my mason jar, and it was the fucking Bolo Runs. Pulled out Bolo, and he's like, yo, you got Bolo Runs? I'm like, yeah, bro. He's like, how'd you get this cut? And I was like, bro, I know Keon. I'm like, That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is not grapes. That's the dog. He was like, That's fire, bro. Boom. He looks at it. He's like, bro, this shit smells crazy. Boom, goes ahead. He said, can I have something? Yeah, grab whatever you want. Take the whole fucking jar, bro. I said, nah, I ain't taking the whole jar. Takes a handful of it. I ended up having, I had to leave early. And um, he goes ahead, rolls it up. Calls me, I think, or texts me that same night. He said, yo, what did you give me again? And I was like, it was the bolo runs. And he was like, yo, I'm going to call you in the morning. So I was like, uh, okay. So then he goes and calls me the next morning. And he's like, yo, he's like, yo, I just wanted to tell you that shit you gave me last night was some of the best fucking weed I smoked in New York. No shit. And I was shit. like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, bro, I'm not kidding. He's like, you got more of it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I have more of it. He was like, so you could bring me some? And I was like, yeah, where you at? He's like, I'm in Manhattan. So whatever. And I'm like, he's like, he's like, when can you bring me some? I'm still babysitting. So I'm like, fuck, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, trying like, to go. Yeah, like, I'm trying to go. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm like, yeah, give me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll bring it over to you. So he's like, all right, cool. He's like, look, listen, man. I just want to tell you, like, that was some of the best shit I smoked. He's like, uh, we, we need to work together. He's like, we need to we need to sit down. We need to talk. We mm -hmm. need to figure something out. He's like, we got to get something going. And I was like, like let's do it. He's like, I'm down. Let's do it. He's like, you're running the seeds I gave you? And I was like, bro, I've been running them shits, bro. This is already, we weaved out the mills. Like, you know what I'm saying? We going. He's like, Psh perfect perfect he's like but everything was just manifesting itself yeah like, it perfectly. seems like it it really does you know so then i was like perfect he's like all right cool we go from there ended up calling him an hour later i'm like yo you want me to stay he's like nah my drop just landed he's like it's a higher empire i got some permanent marker here he's like don't even sweat it you know what i'm saying because he's like i know it's an hour drive and this time third so i was like all right yeah. cool like you know what i'm saying so i was like fuck it so we ended up call we ended up speaking we ended up coming up with the cherry runs, getting the cherry runs in rotation. Nice. And he's like, "Yo, let's get uh, let's get a collab going. Like, let's partner up." It's like, oh, he's like, "Fuck a collab, fire. let's partner up." He's like, "You know, you're my. It's like if we partner up, you'll be my first New York cultivation partner, like legit partner." He's like, "You know, I, you'll be my first ever." He's like, "I don't have a New York partner as of now," so he's like, "Let's make this happen." And I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." So how could I say no to that? You know story, what I'm saying? Bro. I was like, how could I say Hell no to yeah, that? Man, that's incredible. Yeah. Bro. So I was like, fuck you. Yeah. I'm like, let's run it up. Let's do it. And he's like, so talk to me. What you got? And I was like, 
well, I got the cherry runs already going. He's like, so let's run it up. I was like, I'll fill the whole room up. I said, then I, what's crazy is that I just got my eight lighter going. So mind you, throughout this whole time, I'm expanding, bro. From the shed, from, you know what I'm saying, to getting yeah. another shed, to getting another garage, to getting a basement, nice. all of that, running all of those lights, four lighter, nice. four lighter, four lighter, then I got an eight lighter, because I kept re reinvesting. I was eating cup yeah. noodle soups, bro, at the time, cold cuts at the time. That's right. Or wifey, because all I, everything I was getting, right back into the grow, yep. right back into the grow, right back into the grow. And not only that, bro, if it wasn't for the homie B at the grow room, which is out in Queens and Astoria, shout out to the grow room, that's my dog. Yeah. Um, bro, he they, he finessed, bro. He looked out for me heavily, you know what I'm saying? Like, crazy, and gave me basically, you know what I mean? He flexed everything that I needed type shit, and we got it going, bro. Still, Yeah, bro. and that was it, and I got it up. We got it going, and then paid him off, boom. Then after that, the next grow, the next grow, next grow, boom. Then I had the 8-lighter, and then when I had the 8-lighter, that one was like 28 bands because I did that shit all out. Like, I did the floors. I installed floors. No shit. I did rolling trays. That's I did what's like up. the whole nine, bro. Did it right. I, yeah, I did it right. You feel me? The whole nine, bro. Trust me, twenty eight bands, dog. Yeah. But it was like fire shit, you know. And everything, everything, bro. I did that shit myself, dog. Yeah, fucking like savage. Bro. Building the rooms, you know what I'm I saying? Like, yeah, like I blueprinting the shit out. Like, right, I'm gonna put the du right here. I'm gonna hung up the lights like this. I'm gonna put the mini split over there. You get what I'm saying? Have that yeah. circular motion going. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's basically how I took off. Like my um I had the homie marijuana talk help me out. My first girl, he put oh, he helped cool, me man. he helped me put up my my first D Hugh. You nice. know, he was actually he taught me he taught right from there, like I said, I'm a quick learner too. So he's like, yeah. Bro, you're gonna learn this shit and you're not gonna call me again. And I'm like, say less. Yeah. He's like, I'm like, he was like I'm like, let's do it. And he literally helped me put up the D Hugh, bro. And that was it. And I was like, I took off from there, bro. We hung up the Sick, lights, and that bro. was it. That was the last time. He was like, bro, you don't need me no more. And I was like, nope, I don't need you no more. And that was it, bro. And I grew every every, every, sing, every single grow room after that was myself. Blueprinted myself, everything wow. myself, bro. From the plumbing to building the trays to yeah. everything, bro. That's wild, son. Doing the floors. Yeah. The only thing I didn't do was install my HVAC shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my yeah. whole AC units, I I wasn't. Even, I still to this day ain't learned how to do that yet. But I'm gonna learn soon. I'll get it. Yeah, you know that's a whole other profession. Yeah. Just so you know, don't don't beat yourself up, kid. Yeah, you know what I mean. That well, ain't flooring or fucking. We craft the fall, brother. When you're a grower, no, you're gonna learn it. When you're a grower, based on what I know about you, yeah, shit. you're a janitor. You're a glorified janitor. Yeah, we do I'm everything. Saying? Do though. it all. You baby. know what I'm saying? So that being said, oh shit, let me clean this up. Take a break real quick. Yo, take a quick break. All right, so so you got this the eight lighter built out. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You you know you clearly know how to grow, build a grow room now. What happens next? So now I get the eight lighter. I did a whole run in there. Everything was dialed in. You know what I'm saying? And that's actually where the bolo runs came out of that I gave Ryan a sample of. Okay. So I knew that room now was already dialed the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's make this the official doja room. So we dumped in there. I'm like, yo, let's, I'm going to run in there. All the cherry runs. He's like, yeah, run the cherry runs. We're going to run that shit as a collab. He's like, run the fucking Dafinos together. We're gonna run all that shit together. Don't sweat. Like, he's like, trust me, Chris. He's like, once I once we we partner up and we do this whole drop, bro. I'm telling you, like, we're gonna we're gonna go up, bro. He's like, I'm gonna make sure your name goes with everything that you find. He's like, bro, I'm promise you, like, we're gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro, I already know. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the reputation Ryan got and with those yeah. and all. So I already knew. It's like, yeah. man of his word. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, of course, I trust you. So, bro, I filled out the whole room, bro, and. And that room came out phenomenal, and that's basically um, where the Cherry Runs came out, which was our first drop on 420, and that was actually last year, right? Yeah, it was, last 420. That was last year, and that was uh, the Cherry Runs we dropped over here. So Nice, bro. Yep, so Hell we yeah. did that. Um, he ended up QCing it. He came out early. <coughs> he came out right. early. And uh, he actually smoked the cherry runs first. He was very excited on the cherry runs. 
when he came by. Uh, we ended up looking up at that private dinner with uh, the Astro Club held. Okay. So uh, we ended up meeting like, I think it was 418. So it was like two days before um, 420. So okay. he ended up linking. He, I gave him two chars of the Cherry Runs. And uh, he was loving the smell of it off the rip. Like, he was showing it off. Like, it was like, yo, bro, this shit was New York. You know what I'm saying? It's fire, fire shit. bro. Um, he's like, yo, but I'm going to just enjoy it back at the hotel because we're outside. It's not really burning too right. Yeah. So whatever. So he's like, all right, cool. We end up, uh, he calls me the next day. Didn't even call me, matter of fact. Fucking surprised me with a fucking post. And just tagged me on the post of him smoking the cherry runs. And all you see is the full on white ash. And he's like, cherry runs cultivated by the mechanics farm. Right. <laughs> you know, and that was it. Yeah, green check on it type shit. Yeah. And he calls me. He's like, did you check Instagram? And I was like, no. He's like, he's like, check it. Look. And I look. And I was like, oh, shit. He's like, yo, it's a go. It's a go. He's like, let's run it. Let's run this shit up. So I'm like, let's do it. And then we ended up doing the 420 drop, the cherry runs. Sick, bro. And then we did the uh, tasting event the following day, 421. Yep. And, bro, that cherry runs drop, was, we sold out. We were so basically in that room, I honestly, bro, I'm going to be straight up. I only harvested a unit of light. Like, oh, no yeah, shit. Yeah, it was very limited. It was very limited. Damn. You know, because, again, I be dealing with height space. So my height space is very, very, very limited. You know, so I can't have, like, the space to where I could set off the very high PPFDs and start getting big, massive colas and shit. Yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So not able to do that, especially in New York when you're out in a basement and shit like that. In a garage, you could For probably sure. get away with it. But I haven't gotten a big garage just yet. I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it. Um, so with that being said, you know, with the 8-lighter, I can only get so high. So I only got one of light that run of some cherry runs. You know, the phenols, obviously, you can't really count that because they're phenols. It's all mixed fucking plants. Of course, of course. So, so uh, go ahead and uh, I ran the room. He you know, QC'd it, gave it the green light, and then we released it on 420. Fire. At Higher Empire. And again, I, like I said, I only cultivated four units of that run. And um, <coughs> plan was one unit that drop, the other units will supply, like, you know, like Astro Club and all the other big brand, you know, yeah. dispensaries out there and shit. And that was the plan. Well, unfortunately, it didn't go like that. Everybody wanted more cherry runs than we anticipated. And within 45 minutes of us even opening the door, we had sold out of cherry runs. Damn, bro. Yeah. So then Sheesh. everybody's like, we need more cherry runs. We need more cherry runs. And then that's when we're fucking, I'm like, where's the cherry runs? And I go to the back and I go look. And I'm like, where's the cherry runs? And they're like, uh, we sold out. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you told us to only pack up, package a unit. And I was like, fuck. So I go talk to Ryan. Ryan's like, listen, sometimes it's a good thing if we sell out. Run that shit up. So I told him, I'll go right back. And I'm like, yo, start packaging that shit. That was it, bro. They started packaging it, started packaging it. Bro, it did not stop. We had people waiting for the jars. Damn. Right son. on the spot, getting jarred up, <clears throat> waiting, bro. Bro, that dude's grinding three, four jars, five jars. Wait, bro, at the end of the story, within three hours, bro, we ended up selling all breakdown to four units, bro. Wow. Yeah, and you was getting straight. tickets, too, probably like 400 yeah. a zip, right? Yeah, we was, yeah it was 200 Easy. and a half. Easy. Yeah, oh, yeah, bro, there was a half ounce jars. Yeah, the half ounce jars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. jar service, baby. So they were loving it, dude. They were loving it. You know what I'm saying? It was. I was like, fuck it. They love it. I love it. We're all happy. Everybody's happy. You know what I'm saying? And that's literally how it went. So I was like, fuck it. That's fire. Bro. Yeah. And Ryan. So basically, from there, Ryan was like, yo, I'll just buy out all the rooms. Like anything that you grow that's under my brand, like that's my genetics, I buy it all out. Done. And he's like, that's it. Done deal. He's like, the only thing is, like, you see it first. Once it's all good, white ash, clean, everything, taste, terps, everything, burn it clean. I was like, I'll give you the green light. You can start releasing it. And that's basically how we went. Oh, that's fire, bro. Yeah. What a fucking deal. Yeah, what man. a journey. The, the tasting event was fire. I wish you would have went to that. Bro, bro, I'm an asshole, bro. I told y'all I was coming. The, the homie, I hit up Ryan. I hit up uh, Rusty. They're like, oh, yeah, we got you on the ticket, bro. Just come You should have taken me directly, dog. I would have got no, you no, right no. up. No, no, no. It was good. Like, I had the ticket waiting. Like, I was good. But, like, I shot a podcast with White Boy Kev that day. Smacked some subs at the Panini shop in oh, Brooklyn. That was it. And it was like, all right, let me just go to the room and just put my feet up for a second with my old ass. I'm like, 
looking at the time, I'm like, ah, oh, it's not looking good. Yeah. It's not looking good, was, boys. Bro, I fucked up. I fucked up. We had, we had, we had but I got to try some of the Finos. Chris, yeah. Chris, high vibrations. Oh, yeah, Chris and uh, Zodix, the homie from Zodix. Uh, they they went half on a box or some shit. We were, we were blowing them shit. Bro, we Fire. was on the block with it. Breaking up weed on the block, yeah. blowing them up right out the box. Using Fire. the box as a rolling tray. Fresh ass Right before weed. or right after dinner or some shit. Yeah. Blowing them shits. Yeah, there was some cool shit in there. I don't remember what the fuck it was. It was so many, bro. So many. But the, again, just think cool, about man. it. Out of the 70 seeds, we ended up getting about like 50... And then out of the 50 females, we ended up getting like 15, 16 keepers. Yeah. Out of the 16, we narrowed it down to three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, even more than that That's because cool. I'm still running back a few. But just even in case. St- just, yeah, just in case. Yeah. Um, but even still, bro, like it was a lot. Of, like I'm yeah. not going to lie, bro. Like those genetics that Rusty be breeding, bro, the seeds, I don't, I don't know what the fuck he do to that shit, bro. But them shits are beast. Yeah. Like I, I've never... I've never grown, ge- even from seeds, bro, genetics like that. You get what I'm saying? That yeah. Out the gate, dude, like out the fucking gate, aggressive, long pigtails coming out the fucking beans with the, they still got the the caps on. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. And oh, I'm just shit. like, what the fuck? So it's like, with this, with just those, every single thing that I ran, like, I've even had shit in veg, like my veg room was stinking, bro. Oh, damn. God damn. Yep. That's a trip. Dude. Yeah, bro. My bedroom yeah, was Rusty's done, a bro. wizard, bro. Yeah, bro, he's a fucking magician, dog. I know this is gonna drop later, but like coincidentally tomorrow we're dropping his episode. I'm very excited, yeah. bro. Right. You know, I had to buy that early on. Y'all have already seen this out. shit by now. Yeah, I, I you know saw that shit was fire. Yeah, was nice. Shit. <clears throat> but um yeah, we ended up basically finding those. So we narrowed it down to three, which was the soap times blueberry mimosa number eleven. Um, the Runs Times Coffee Candy number six, and then it was the Helium, which is the OZK Cross the Strawberry Scalato number four. Tight. So we ended up picking those, and then, um, ended up running them back. And I ran them back after a while, after we, you know what I'm saying, after we did the drop, a couple months went by, and then I ended up running some more Cherry Runs, which was the second run we just did not too long ago. So as of right now, our main keeper that we're like most static about, more eager about, would be the OCK Cross Strawberry Scalato. Nice, bro. Which um, I ended up picking the name for it. They let me pick the name, and they actually was like, "Yeah, fuck it, sounds like a dope name." Zelium. Zelium. It's tight. You know, it's so, tight. I like that. So I was like, "Fuck it," you know. That's so cool. again, it goes. It's rel- It's related to his helium, and yeah. threw some Z, some Strawberry Scalato in there. So I was like. Zealion. It's a great name. Yeah. I like it. It it made me like, what's that? You know what I'm saying? So what's up, bro? It's a very very, very mouth heavy mouth coating. Like to me personally, I feel like everybody has their own opinions in regards to how the Terps is on it. But I feel like subjective. It's different because going back to when I was burping it, I'd open the bag and when I'd immediately open the bag, I'd get like me personally an orange creamsicle kind of fucking smell to it. Orange cream, some orange cream sickle like Z Skittles, right? Yeah. But then as it as I left the bag open, and the time kept going, it would just air out a little bit. I get more Z now coming up front. Oh, nice! See, it was just different, real nice. different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, bro. And it was like when we when I ended up smoking it, you know, I got the homie um, uh, snack time with Kyle, and yeah. when he come through and we start QCing. Um, he ended up rolling up the zelium, and I was like, bro, it's so mouth coating. Like, it was yeah. full of flavor. Like, it was ridiculous. He ended up looking at me. He's like, yo, Chris, he's like, this is it. This that one. This, this is it. You know, he's like, it was burning right. It was burning, you know, everything. That's dope, bro. Yeah. I love it. And um, then I sent some out to Ryan. I sent some out to uh, John Capetta, actually got some. Oh, bro. Well. Yeah, he actually, me and John actually. He John's came, a good dude, man. He came to my house. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all both from L.I., bro. Yeah, he came to my house. Oh, yeah. We uh, sat down. Tight. Smoked. I showed him phenols right out the turkey bag. I said, pick Tight, whatever bro. you like. Uh, he went straight for the zelium. That's right. He's like, I like this one, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's cool. He ended up That's taking cool. a few samples back home, and then he uh, texted me later. He's like, yo. He's like, I fucking love that zelium. He's like, that's nice, the fucking dude. one. Nice, yeah. Hell yeah. He's like, that's the one. And then um, I ended up getting into the hands of uh, John Doe, Chico Shine. Tight. So I linked up with him, with Doja, Doja EK. 
And then Chico Shine was like, yo, bro, this is some fire shit. We had snack time, rolled up some joints and shit of it. We uh, we ended up passing him the joint. Dude never came back with the joint. He's fucking cut the whole thing. Say word. Yeah, he's like, yeah I'm going to post yeah, on this one. He's like, he's like, yo, he looked at he's like, yo, that's some fire right there. He looked at me and said, yo, I got to find a way to get in that collab. <laughs> that's fire, bro. You know, but yeah, like I said, fire. that's I think right now that's that's the one that's going to make some noise. Um, I'm filling out. I'm I'm building out another eight lighter right now. Okay. Um, okay. That's gonna be um, some stuff that, that, that I want to fill up with the zelium. A lot of zeliums going in there. I'm also running some more pina colado because um, I got my other the original Doja room now. I'm running pina colado now, just the P41. Oh, that P41, yeah. stupid! I, yeah. I finally tried that. And it's different, bro. That is different. And that is some pineapple turps, yeah. dog. Shout out to Dave who found it. Shout yeah, out shout out to, to Dave, man. Yeah. For real. Shout His out. episode dropping soon, too. Yes, sir. Shout Fuck out to yeah. Rusty for bringing Rusty, it. Rusty, the fucking wizard. Yes, sir. I know he calls him the Duke, but I think he's a goddamn wizard with this yes, shit, bro. Man, I just seen his operation the other day, and it was <coughs> fucking <coughs> impressive. Yeah, he's an, I haven't seen it yet. but Dog, the man. way... The way a breeder will walk you through their garden is way different than the grower will walk yeah. you through their garden. Like, the whole process is like, I, he's saying shit that I have no, not no, no idea what he's talking about. I understand what he's saying, but like, the, F2. the way he's walking me through his process, I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ, there's yeah. a lot of things, shit to keep up with, oh bro. Oh my God, it's so much. It's I even nutty. forget myself. It's nutty, bro. Yeah, so we, we ended up keeping that. So now we're working with the Zelium. You guys got a fucking killer Zealand. team, bro. Yeah. It's fucking, this is going to be a fun to watch, yeah. bro. For oh, real, for just real. forget about that. We So we're doing it all over again now. This but this time we're doing watch. it with the with the P41. So like how pre previously we did the Finos with the Cherry Runs. Now we're running this shit back with yeah. the Pina Colado and the Pina Fine. Colado Crosses. Yeah, he told me. He's sir, so all them shits. We running all. We running the RS11 cross the P41. Yeah. Motor breath cross the P41. Mm -hmm. Skittles cross the P41. That I'm excited and for. the crumpets cross the P41. We're supposed to rename the crumpets. No, he told me. Yeah, he told supposed me. to rename Yo, that. that. That's but like that's fire. He yeah, gave there's me a lot some, of OGs in there. He gave me some yesterday. That Ton was of OGs crossed fire, in there, bro. bro. Yeah. So speaking of collabs, bro, you have one coming up with two of my favorite rappers, bro. You care to speak on that? Is that can we drop that on of the board? All right, cool. Talk about it, man. So, um, shit, this actually goes back to 420. Okay. Um, that same night, that same dinner with the Astro Club event, okay. um, I ended up bumping into Styles P. Tight. And um, yeah, Styles P was there with his manager, Omar. And um, basically, I gave him a jar of the cherry runts. And uh, as soon as he opened the jar, he said, this, you grew this? I'm like, yeah. He said, in New York? Said, in New York? He said, bro, this shit is fire. Hell yeah. Grabbed the jaw. He's like, yo, fire. He's like, I'm going to smoke this shit. Dap me up. Day later. Oh, before that, we ended up exchanging numbers, me and his manager. Oh. Yeah. Right then and there, boom. Day later, his manager texted me. He said, yo. He's like, Styles P told me to message you. He's like, yo. He's like, that was some of the best weed he smoked that's grown in New York. He's like, he, um, he wants to know if you got some time to sit down for a meeting. So we could work on some plans. And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know what I'm fuck saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. So I'm like, Hell no yeah. problem. No sir. problem. <laughs> so I just did a harvest of some phenos, got some beans I hunted. <coughs> <coughs> I did this harvest of the beans I hunted of some uh some some phenos that um, the homies out of Michigan did, Mitten Master and uh, Mobile J. Okay. Some cats that make some noise out there. Also the homies, um, Mitten Connect. Those are the dogs doing some shit. Nice. Um, but he ended up giving me some seeds to test. You know what I'm saying? He's was, was a homie from a long time. He's actually the one who I bought my first cut off of, which is the ice cream cake and shit. Oh, tight. Like so he was like, yo, you want to test some seeds out for me? You know, at that point he knew, like, I got the whole Doja collab and shit. He's like, yo, just test some seeds My out. boy Emotion. Yeah, so he's like, throw some seeds out for me. I was like, all right, fuck it. So he ended up throwing, he let me pick, and I ended up picking up uh, the Obama runs across the Biscotti. Oh, fire. And then the Pablo's Revenge across the Obama runs. Okay. So I ran those. I ran about uh, 30 of each. And I found a few keepers, but there was two of them that stood out the most to me, that smoked the best, had the best appeal, everything, white ash clean, everything was A1. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to bring these two phenos. 
So I bought those two Finos, and then I bought the cream smoothie with me, which is a Fire Farmer um, cut that I got as well. So I bought those for me, and we went to a meeting. They actually brought me to their studio, which was pretty dope in Yonkers. Oh, fire, bro. Yeah, they brought me to the studio in Yonkers, and... Bro, I walk in there, and when I walk in there, you got Jadakiss sitting on the fucking the sofa. You got Styles P sitting on the other side. You got their manager, Daniel. You got their manager, O. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh, shit, it's just really happening. You know D-block. I mean? like, fuck yeah, real Let's D-block go, shit. son. So we sit in there, and I'm just like, we're talking, and I'm like, first things first, I appreciate y'all for having me. And then he told me, shoot off the rip. He said, yo, honestly, your flowers fire. Like, we're just looking for somebody in New York to grow for us for us new york brand because obviously it's only right we get a new york new york cultivated flower you know what i'm saying and put yeah. it on the new york brand That's right. so i was like i'm down to do it you know what i'm saying let's just let's make it happen let's collaborate they're like bro let's partner up he's like how do we get a room and we want a whole room type shit we want this shit consistently you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, let's do it. So basically, I'm building out another room. <laughs> wow, that's, that's cool, gonna bro. be all Styles P and Jada Kiss collab drops. That's fine. And we're gonna basically work out an agreement and you know, nice. basically good for make you, that man. happen. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting, bro. That's exciting, man. So, what's uh, you got a lot of shit popping, bro? Like, what's the next like five ten look like, bro? What's the plans for Mechanic Farms, man? Well, I got this really big collab I'm trying to work out with Fire Farmer. Okay. That's the dog. That's my homie. Like, he blessed out, bro. <laughs> the fucking levels of fucking yeah. humble fucking drops this guy has. Yeah. Working on a... Humble flex over here. Trying to work on a big collab. I'm trying to actually get the homie to come out to New York. Like, real yeah. shit. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I really want him to come out and, like, we'll do this drop together type shit. That'd like, be dope. Yeah, I got a whole room dedicated to all his fucking strings. I got, like, the Rainbow Sangria... I nice. got the sangria. I got the alley oop. You know what I'm saying? So Fire. I'm growing like, and he loves it. Like he loves like when I grew my first batch of cream smoothie, and I was like, yo, I was like, yo, Jay, I got some shit for you. Let me send you this. He's like, all right, cool. Boom, I sent it out over. He fucking calls me. He's like, yo, what the fuck? You grew this? And I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't smoke so much Cali weed, but this right here, bro. He's like, I really like this. He's like, I really like this. He's like, can you send me some more? <laughs> I was like, of course, yeah, yeah I got yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm sending him some more. He's That's like, yo, cool, he's bro. like, I fucking love it. And you know what I'm saying? From there, we ended up growing a relationship together, That's you know, cool, talking man. and whatever. And then uh, he ended up sending me cuts, like mad cuts. Like, here, just, 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 just get busy. Bro, yeah, get busy. And then, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, all right, say less. I'm going to get to it. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. he threw me a little dime in there. I'm going to throw you guys a little hint. He, uh, basically working on a new strain for a co-branding that probably me and Doja are going to do together. So it's going to be me, Doja, and Fire Farmer. Good for you, man. I love that. I love that shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So it's going to be an exclusive exclusive New York strain bred by Fire Farmer yeah. grown only for Doja. So That's fire, bro. I'm for excited real. to see that. Yeah, for so real. We got a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The next 510. I see. Um, I see. Again, other than that, it's just, I'm just, I plan on going legal. Without a doubt. That's cool, man. Plan on going legal. No wrong with that. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna stay. Dope, bro. I'm gonna stay expanding. Hell yeah. Hell I yeah. never. I have, get... I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah. You're gonna stay expanding, stay collabing, stay dangerous, stay growing fire. I can't wait to roll up some of them cherry runs, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me ask you a couple questions before we get up out of here, bro. Um, what are your, what are your quality check boxes for quality cannabis, bro? What do you, what do you look for, man? Um, first things first, the smoothness. Okay. So it's got to be smooth on the inhale, off the rip, yeah. throughout the whole the whole blunt or joint. Because again, I smoke I smoke blunts. So yeah. even with the blunts, even with the tobacco leaf and all that, I can still tell whether if it's rough or not. You know okay. what I'm saying? And even better in a joint. So that's the first things first. It's got to be smooth. You know okay. what I'm saying? If not, I'll literally drop it right there and then. Oh, not, facts. I don't yeah. care how pretty the fucking weed looks. Yeah. Um. Then the second would be the bag appeal. You know what I'm saying? The bag appeal. I go real heavily based off bag appeal because that's, that's the first impression of the flower. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. First thing you go to look with your eyes, not what you go to smell, but again, you know what I'm saying? It goes that's like this. So I would say the bag appeal then goes to nose. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I know a lot of people be like, we'll open a bag and be like, yo, this shit smells crazy. Yeah, I get it. Like Skittles. 
Don't yeah. get me wrong. I fucking love that yeah. shit, bro. I love Skittles. Like, I I will die smoking that shit, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, we, even though it's ugly, ugly looking plant, bro, I got this psyllium. It's fire. Fire. And grows fire. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm like, that's what I'm trying to say with the zelium. I feel like we're gonna we gonna change up the, the Z game a little bit. Okay. With that with that zelium, bro. That'd be dope you know if like, you did, cause it's like, I'm just having this conversation the other day. There's like this, you know, we got gas, we got candies, we got fruits, we got Z. Yes. Like Z. There's never been a strain that's just been in its own category of yeah. terms. You know what I'm saying? And there's not been anything else. So if you shake up that game, bro, like. That's the, Z's just waiting for a new collab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what like we're trying new, to do. A so, new cross that really takes off and not, stays. Not only that, <clears throat> we're also working on a collab. Well, not even a collab because, again, we already partnered up, but we're trying to bring out some Blue Dream. Oh, me I and know. Rusty. I know. Me and Rusty are trying to get that yes, Blue Dream. Yes, you are. Yeah. And let me, t- let me first tell y'all haters, Blue Dream haters, because I'm kind of one too. But, uh, the you know, it's a three, four-way cross, yes. right? But, yo, there's just enough Blue Dream in there to so you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but there's some other shit happening, bro. And I mean, I just, I just squeezed a a, a, a live nug. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, bro, those terps off that shit was cool, yeah. bro. That's so real we're, cool. We're trying to get some real blue Z back it's in different. New York. It's different, yeah. Blue yeah. Z, that'd be fucking dope, bro. Because it's it's uh, Skittles. On the Skittles crossed to uh, Blue Dream crossed to Atomic Diesel. Fire. Yeah. So. Fire. Um, love that, bro. So we're working on that, and it's you know that's what I basically seen in the next five ten years. Love that, bro. Yeah. Let me let me ask you this, bro. This is a very important question. Since we're talking strains, man, what's your top three strains of all time? Awesome. One old school, one new school, and a desert island you stuck on the island with. Yeah. What you got? Um, a new school strain, I say, not to be biased, that I'd smoke off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Would be the Zelium. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then you said which one? The old school? Some old school. Um, fuck, you know what I mean? You grew, maybe you grew up on or some shit. I would love, man, some... Someone still got your heart. I love some real, like, real piff, piff. But unfortunately, I won't ever get that. Well, so. what are we talking about piff? Are we talking about Purple Haze? Or what are we talking Just about? like that, that real exotic piff back in that New York piff. Niggas okay. call it piff, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool, cool, cool. That was that real exotic shit. We had a conversation about this yeah, earlier. I was everything. making sure that's what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, because we know, you know, you got the Reggies, you got the you got the Dro, you got, you know what I'm saying, yeah. the, 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 the Purple Haze, you got the Piff, you got the Haze. Like, for us, it was Piff, you feel me? Yeah. Like, me personally, when we growing up, Piff was that shit. You would get that point five. And that little clear bags, colorful yeah, bags. That and, puree. And that shit was Hello. freaking the whole room, <laughs> yeah, dog. Bro. Feel me? Like, that yeah, was the shit. I do. <laughs> that was the shit that, man, I wish I could. Like, that same weed, I wish I could smoke it It now. was offensive. Yeah, I you wish I man? could smoke that now. And then my my island, my desert island shit to die for, like, I'd be... I'd be that Skittles, the Zeppelins of yours, dog. Oh. Yeah. Hello. I love that Another shit. point for Skittles, but the Zeppelin Skittles. Yeah. You feel me? I love that. Shout to Labs, man. All day, dog. Labs, you're taking, you're taking Zeppelins to the island, playboy. That's dope, bro. Yes, sir. So, if you could bring back one strain, what would it be? Shit's gone. Try, like I said, that piff. But a even piff, still, piff. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, that man. real piff is red. The real though. piff, yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard, but even still, like I, I just, I won't even waste my time growing it, bro. I just wouldn't. Yeah. It's just, it's not there no more. It's everything's just all watered down, unfortunately. It's like sour. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of. It's. I've had some cool. I've I've had some cool versions of it lately. You know what I'm saying? And blessed, bro, because I needed it for the nostalgia and all that shit. But you know, it's just not. What I remembered it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Fully, fully. 100%. Um, so, yo, let me ask you this. If you could smoke with two people, one dead but one is still alive, who would they be? The one dead would be Young Dolph. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was my favorite rapper. Well, he still oh, is my favorite okay. rapper. That's, that's the okay. all I bump to. You get in my car, that's all you're going to hear. All right, Dolph. Dolph. All right. Yeah. And then um, my live... Man, I say my pops in law, man. Pop father in law? Yeah, he's cool. funny as a motherfucker. Oh, that's man. cool. You got blessed with a dope father in law. Yeah. That's a blessing, bro. I had a yeah. I had a dope one before he passed, man. R. P. Jojo. 
It's my guy, man. He can't. He moved out here with us, man. We lost yeah. one along the way. You know what I mean? Yeah, but unfortunately. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. But yeah, he's cool, man. Yeah, he's Pops cool. will do it though. He's the funny cool. cat, dog. He funny Same, guy, bro. man. Same. He, you know what I mean? He, he, he don't smoke. He doesn't smoke, but he's smoking cigars. You know how yeah. like we like the nice the exotic weed. He like Same. the exotic the cigars and shit like that. Yeah. So you know what I mean. But he's a funny cat, man. He's funny. I love him. That's, That's cool, my man. Second That's, dad, you know That's cool, bro. Yeah. Do you guys smoke together? On nah, the well, when 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 when? Do you guys smoke together on the regular? Uh, nah, me and my dad, yes. Your dad, yes. Him, yeah. no. Nah, gotcha. Got gotcha, gotcha. His job and shit for so, sure. Yeah. Um. Real quick before we get up out of here, man, and we're gonna hit some rapid fires real quick and then wrap up. But uh, who's your favorite plug back in the day, man? Who took care of you? My favorite plug? Yeah, shout out your favorite plug back in the day, man. You don't got to say his real name. You know what I'm saying? Keep it, keep it Scooby-Doo. Uh, well, there was two of them. They were both. They were shout them both out. Yeah, Fuck yeah, it. Was, uh, they were uh, both. Silver, 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 Silverback Guys Collective. That, okay. was a, that was his name at the time. And then the whole fire ass like, name, goddamn! Yeah. It was a gorilla. Sound like he had knock you the fuck out. You try to run off gorilla. with the pack. Yeah, it was, it was, it was real homie. He had a gorilla Super on back. it and shit with a gas pump. People, you know, let's go. Shit. Yeah, let's go. Um, and then the homie, uh, uh, Mighty Buds. Mighty Buds. All yeah. right. All right. Well, fuck with it, bro. So, yo, real quick before we dip up out of here, I'm gonna hit you with some rapid fires, bro. These are one word answers. So try to keep them one word. It's, it's hard to do. Okay. But I believe in you. You ready? Yeah. All right. Do you like to smoke in the hot or the cold? Cold. Joints or blunts? Blunts. Bongs or bowls? Bowls. You dab? Yes. Cold start or hot start? Uh, hot start. Rig or Puffco? Rig. Street smarts or book smarts? Street smart. Batman or Superman? Batman. Haze or sour, Mr. Sour. New York. Oh, he was quick with it. Nas or Hove? Hove. Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Regular doinks or hash holes? Hash holes. Past that shit, I'm smoking this to the face. To the face. Because you just smoked four to the face in front of me. He ain't try passing out one of them shits. But yo, I, told him, I told him not to. I told him not to. <laughs> yo, my bad, dog. No, no, no. You good. You good, bro. You good. Impressive, though. Impressive. He Man, just I got kept a going. Very high tolerance. He does. So. I, I see. We we all seen it, bro. Yeah. You ain't taking breath of fresh air yet, my nah, man. I've been smoking throughout this whole interview. I ain't mad at you. Throughout he's a, this whole interview. He's a real smoker. Yeah. We appreciate that on the good piece of show. Past that. Oh yeah, I said that. What's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Donatello. Nah, I'm lying. Raphael. My man. Me too. Yeah. Eighties or nineties? Nineties. Coke or Pepsi? Fuck. Coke. NorCal or SoCal? Shit. It's kind of a setup. Yeah, we'll right. We'll go Long Island or Queens? Long Island, dude. Go the way. Oh, no, dude. I was on the yeah. fucking whip. Okay. It's about to get serious. Pizza or tacos? Tacos. A fucking New Yorker, huh? Yeah. All right. Pizza with pineapples or no pineapples? No pineapples. It's a dub. Tacos or burritos? Tacos. Tacos or papusas? Papusas. My man. I would go papusas yeah, too. Yeah, fire. In and out or five guys? Yo, I never had in and out, dog. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go with five guys. Today. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Cheetos or Flamin' Hot Cheetos? Uh, Cheetos. The Wire or The Sopranos? The Sopranos. Pacino or De Niro? De Niro. Godfather 1, 2, or 3? One, I only seen one. Goodfellas or Casino? Oh, Casino. Like automatic that. or Revolver? Uh, damn, do the automatic. You gotta smoke Disney carts or last year's outdoor for one month? Oh, fuck. What you going with, pal? I go with last year's outdoor. Many do. Jack or Blue Dream for the rest of your life, go. Blue Dream. You're lost in the woods, you get a pack of matches or a hatchet for survival. What do you choose? Hmm. I'd do the hatchet. Chased by a bear or a shark, what do you prefer? I do a bear. Most do. Yeah, what? 
You should, bear. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I haven't had my um, uh bear. A bear. Yeah, right? shark skin. Just no, fuck yeah, out of me, me bro. Too, bro. God damn it, man. I could probably wrestle, maybe try to wrestle. You know what I mean? No, probably not. It, we're, it's not going to be that no. much. It's going to be me. I don't know. Man. I don't know. There's been My bad. high ass. I feel like, yo, that, watching that yo, show, too, son, yo, that shit look easy. They ain't <laughs> like the Bears in Jersey and New York, doggy. These motherfuckers out here, boy, fuck you up. Nice. Um, You're stranded in a forest fire or you're stranded on a sinking ship in shark-infested waters? How do you choose your death, sir? I'll do the forest fire, forest, yeah, forest fire. Body shot or face shot by Mike Tyson. A body shot. Shot of one fifty one or a hot dab. I'll do nine hundred, glowing. Oh, fuck murderous! Damn. I'll do the shot. Gelato runs terps or OG gas. I'll do the OG gas. OG for the OGs. Tupac or Biggie. Tupac. Big L or Big Pun? Or Big Pun. Wu-Tang or Death Row? What's the Wu-Tang? Wu-Tang. Yeah. Oh, man. Good shit, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yo, so before we get up out of here, man, um, I'd just like to share the power of networking. Uh, how did we meet? What do we have to do to figure all that out? And uh, who do you know that I should know that I should get on the show? So how did we meet? Instagram? No, I think I... Kind of linked with you through the homie Chris, Higher Vibrations. I seen you through the, the yeah. story you just told. I was peeping that. Yeah. But uh, Chris had linked with you somehow on yeah. Instagram, I believe. I was like, yo, son. I was I ain't going to lie. I was like, yo, son, you linked with this guy? Yeah. Fucking, the dude do, growing for Doja? I'm like, what? I'm like, that's what's up, man. Hopefully I'll meet him one yeah. day. Yeah, I ended up with Chris. I ended up meeting Chris through, uh, I guess that's one person we can shout out right there, my homie Chris for Higher Vibrations. Hell yeah, that's, that's my bro, man. Yeah. Episode four or five, I believe. Check his episode. You know what yeah, I'm he uh, he uh, he linked the bridge with me and my boy Mo, which is uh, Nugs R Us. Okay. He's uh, he's been he's actually a pioneer in the game, my homie Mo, bro. Hell he's yeah. been doing this shit for a very long fucking time, man. He's a real humble cat. Dope. Like real good dude. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's been doing it way back since the early like maybe. 13s maybe even probably before that hell yeah you know what i'm saying like and still to this day i feel like he don't get his credit or his flowers yet but shout out to homie mo yeah shout out to homie Nugs chris knows us. a lot of good people man yeah so that's the homie <laughs> Nugs are us, you know what i'm saying tight he's doing his thing in new york tight so. who should i get on the show bro oh man uh and keep it east coast bro i need some more east coast homies you know what i'm saying yeah I got plenty of West Coast referrals, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like I said, there's a few growers out there, man. I don't know if you really like, hit me with the name. Like you got, you got uh, marijuana talk. I've been seeing him, bro, and that yeah. name was very catchy. Yeah, like, I, you, you know got I mean? uh, food flower. Okay, food flower. He's got food flower. He's got. Um, the I seen his shit too. Yeah, he's got the Skittles game on lock. I what? Lie. He's got yeah. He's okay. got some good Skittles. He knows that he Dope. found. Um, we got my boy uh, Epiphany as well. He took home some Epiphany. trophies. That's a great name. Yeah, Epiphany New York. <laughs> Love and that. Then, uh, shit, man, that's uh, that I could think of. No, that's here. cool. That's cool. That's three. Those are a few yeah, homies good. right there. You know what I'm saying? That's that, good, that, bro. That, that uh, doing their thing out in uh, New bro. York right now. That Love that, man. Growers. Shout shout to New York, man. Love yeah. to see it, man. Love to see it. That are actually growers too. You know yeah, what I mean, like really like doing their thing. Man. That's all I want to talk to. Yeah, show. Sure. So, well, yo, let's link or link me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So yo, before we dip, man, how can I reach into my network and help you, my bro? Like, what, what plug anything you want right now? Website, Instagram, anything you got up and coming? Let the people know. Well, I got this uh, website coming up. The website coming up for merch, and uh, I got some real cool um, collectibles that I'm actually working on, like some little figures. Hell yeah! So I'm trying to bring my uh, like spark plug to life. Hell uh, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do some Fuck little, yeah. yeah, so a little something like that. Love that. Something to do with like a little Hot Wheel collab type shit I'm trying to work on. Get okay. some like Hot Wheels going. You know, okay. with like the mechanic, you know, get like a oh, little, I get it. I get little it. scenery type thing I'm working yeah. on. So I'm trying to get that. And then the merch, bro. I'm real heavy on the merch, as you see. Like I like the like I like the designer shit. So I see you. Um I, I did a I did a previous drop of uh some merch, some sweats with a T with full embroidered hand Fire. embroidered everything. Um, Nike Tech fabric, like the whole nine, yeah. Let's go, bro. And um, but you know what I mean? It was fire. It was just the fact I just the whole like everything on my plate with Doja. Like I was putting more attention to 
to Doja, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not still, but I just, you know, I'm trying to right now, I'm working on basically balancing everything out. Sure. So that, but that website is actually one thing that I have in my agenda where it's on the works right now um, because, again, I want to get that going. I want to get merch out there. Dope. Um, you should, man. Always, you know, the burner shit. shot's shit. large, the, man. Send it over, baby. Oh, I got you. I'll pay for it, though. I'm fucking with nah, you. Nah, I'll send that. No, no, no. no. I support but, um, my friends, man. Um, I sell merch. I know how that game go. I so good, bro. Yeah. But um, like I said, man, it's just even going, like, just with the shit with Burner. He even said it himself, bro. Yeah, man. And so the merch is what blew up cookies, bro. It wasn't the weed. You're fucking right, bro. Merch. So me, yeah, so, they're so doing M's yearly, bro. Yeah, so that's Big what I'm M's. trying to get the merch going as well. Yeah. So I'm trying to get that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole nine. So that's, that's coming fire. out real soon, yeah. That's trying fire, to get that bro. going, yeah. Well, congratulations to you, my friend. Thank you. It was amazing hearing your story. Thank you for sharing it with my audience, bro. Yes, sir. Wish you nothing but the best, man. We definitely going to collab on something, bro. I feel 100%. like it's only right. Um, yeah, man, thanks for coming out, yeah. taking the time, coming over to the West Coast, you know what I mean? Appreciate you. Appreciate you, my brother. So, yo, you already know, man, check out my bro, Mechanics Farm, doing it real big in New York. Shout Long Island, shout out to all the boroughs, killing it. We see y'all, man. I love it, man. Peace, love, good pizza. We'll see y'all next time, man.